Okay, so we are going to talk about um, the Welcome to the NHK novel. Now, um, there's I think there's only like uh, two reviews um, on YouTube. So th there's one by uh, Bob Samurai, who who does a comparison of um, of the anime to the manga um, to the novel, but he he doesn't want to spoil the plot, so he doesn't really say anything much um <laughs> and then and then there's also a, a review on the channel on which um, uh, the the audiobook which is posted on youtube and i'll probably put the link in the in the description of the video for pe for people to listen to the audiobook um the book the, the novel i checked um is out of print on amazon unfortunately i i, I got it uh, uh, I bought it back into 2015, and I read it back then. So it's been seven years, mm -hmm. or something, since I, I read the novel. Um, most people who, who read the novel, um, obviously only read it because they liked the anime and they wanted to see more of the characters. And because of that, um, most of the negative negative reviews. Um, well, actually, all of them, all the ones that have seen, are uh, like uh, the anime was better. Um, Indeed, so what you showed us seems like everyone who watched the anime first was really disappointed and even disgusted. But I think one of the interesting part about the movies is you you see how low this person can end up. There is like a kind of dark. Um, it's a it's in between dark humor dark comedy and really uh, dark and depressive writing at some points. And I think that's part of, the, of its beauty. The beauty of the novel is that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's more looking... Um, so the novel is more about, uh, I would say, more about looking uh, about the mentality of the protagonist mm -hmm. um, than the anime. It's an introspective, yeah, it's an introspective journey. Um, yeah, whereas the anime is more like... Uh, uh, <laughs> It's more like you're you're watching uh, uh, Sasha and like kind of laughing sort of uh, at him because like you're, mm -hmm. you're you're waiting to see like what is the next way that he's going to get uh, f. Um, uh, so it's like the anime from what I I saw. It's more like what's going what into which other trap is going to <laughs> fall yes. at first. Yeah. Um, and uh, the manga, I think, um, I think the manga would be a, a better place to go for people who want to see, like, um, um, so, 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 the, so the manga, like, all, I think it's eight volumes or something, um, and it's, it, um, it basically um, has more side sto stories about the other characters, and also mm -hmm. it goes beyond... Uh, the place where 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 the uh, the the ma the novel and the anime ended. Uh, so if you want to see like what what happened afterwards, uh, ah, I'm, so there is a little yeah. bit of a continuation. Yeah. I, I, I'm not I'm not sure whether um, I liked it that much, but then I, but then again, before re rereading the novel, I I didn't like the novel much either. So I so I I also thought like uh, those people who. Uh, left I left wonder left. Yeah. if it's another situation a little bit like with uh, the Metal Gear story where Kojima was done and they kept saying we want more, we want more and so he wrote uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 just to show that not everything ends up well. Just so like, Are you satisfied now? Um, the I, year it's yeah. old. <laughs> I, I, th it's I think, yeah, I think, I think uh, with this it's like the, the opposite um, is the problem here because <laughs> So I, I listened. Uh, uh, I listened to an interview. It's on a channel called Anim Anime Lockdown. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I mean, there's there's some interesting stuff on that channel. But 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 anyway, so there's this interview uh, with the author Tatsuhiko Takimoto. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, uh, Sato's uh, Sato's surname is uh, uh, Tatsuhiro or something. So it's like one letter, uh, yeah. <laughs> one letter <laughs> difference. Um, um, anyhow, in that uh, in that interview, um, I think um, he said he said something like um, uh, that. Although, like he was satisfied with the, with the novel, um, he preferred the anime and um, 
and the manga himself. Um, I, I, I think he's, it was something like, well, m- maybe he was, he was just being, you know, like, uh, you know, not saying, oh, like, my version is the greatest or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. um, as, so, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah. He, was, he wasn't being a, um, art, but, well, he was, um, he, he was just being an artist, right? I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of the, the etiquette to, to uh, talk down your own work and uh, elevate yeah. it. Yeah. Which, which is fine. Otherwise, so, um, yeah. very briefly, so his involvement with the anime, like, I think he, he wasn't involved with the anime at all. Um, but he was he was involved with the with the manga. Yeah, I was the writer, one of, or at least one of the writers for the manga. And what the anime basically tries to do is um, to fit uh, to fit the stuff which is in the manga uh, into uh, into the yeah into the in, so into the I guess the framework of um, the novel, uh, and it sort mm-hmm. of works. Um, it it does get a little bit episodic, but um, um, yeah. Anyway, so so the difference, I think, um, yeah, I think it's it, the 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 difference between uh, the manga um, and uh, and the light novel. So so so, so uh, other than the fact that there's there's more stuff happening, um, like I kind of felt like um, so. So in in the interview, he, uh, Tatsuhiko said that like um, he wanted to like ideally like oh, because it's only one volume he couldn't write anymore. But if he had written more volumes, uh, then he won't he would have wanted to write like uh, the story of um, the protagonist like uh, you know fa- finally finding a way out or something like rather mm-hmm. than and ending it. Um, Obvious, but then he said, "But like the way that it was left uh, is fine as well." But um, and uh, I think he 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 said this while he was talking about uh, his new uh, project that he's working on, uh, which is um, a novel and also a manga. I I think only the manga has been translated into English. Um, pro- pro- probably only fan translated. Um, I can't remember the title, but anyway, it's about about uh, hikikomori in another in another world <laughs> and uh, I, yeah unfortunately for him like th- that's not a very unique um, it, it's not it's not no, unique sadly yeah. not. um compared to other stories at least that yeah i've been seeing lately yeah uh, so, so yes yeah, so, so, so yeah i so what was my point um um yeah so if you want so basically so basically, the manga is a, is a little bit more cheerful, I would say. Also, also uh, another th- another difference, um, um, which I noticed and which I, I have not seen anyone mention in uh, between the anime and um, the novel is that um, uh, in in the anime, like y- you can see Misaki, uh, Misaki and Yamazaki uh, interacting. Um, whereas no. I, you, you you don't really see that. Uh, yeah, I don't think you you, you you. No, it doesn't happen in the store yeah. in the novel. Yeah. The only time they are about to interact, Yamazaki r- runs away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. No, uh, so another interesting thing. Um, so uh, uh, the, the interview. Uh, uh, sorry, that that interview. Another interesting thing which came up is um, so the interview asked. Um, that's what call, like why why do you think that there are more stories about like uh, um more de- depressive kind of uh, uh, stories about hikikomori like usually it's like um it's it usually it's it's more like a comedic thing like uh, everything just turns mm-hmm. all, all right or whatever um and uh, so uh, that's that because answer was kind of interesting uh, because uh, like rather than saying oh that's uh, ju- just because oh it's wish fulfillment uh, blah 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 like the usual answer uh, which I don't think he would disagree with either I think he said something like uh, like the problem is that like are, are really hikikomori like are really boring like <laughs> they spend the whole day uh, in, inside the exactly. room so like <laughs> it's hard to write a story about <laughs> About a guy who spends all his time in, in the room. Uh, another difference between the uh, anime 
and the novel and also the manga i would say um is that uh, there's there's no drug use i can't i don't think that there was any drug use in the in the anime so like in the anime like it's like the characters just go, go insane uh by themselves <laughs> um yeah no need to... <laughs> i think i think i think there is um drinking and the smoking but, that, but that's about it right i mean and um, yeah those are still things that are sort of acceptable be I shown to, I, yeah, I think. yeah i don't think that that uh, sato ended up like uh, looking at a, a real cp in um, no 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 he didn't, no, he didn't. He didn't. No. Yeah. yeah that part i found it well let's wait for the spoilers maybe um, yeah um so, so i'd say the main difference seems between the adaptations are um the point of view seems to be different in the the anime seems a bit more um, far away, like if the camera was pulled away from the main character, from Sato, and placed further away, there is a bit more of a formulaic approach. It's like, oh boy, what is going to do next week now? And the tone is a bit more, um, it's a bit lighter compared to the gravity that you can feel in, in the novel in certain points. Yeah, yeah, it's um, the the novel, I guess, is dark or more realistic or whatever. Um, and also, like, um, um, I mean, it's some of the comedic moments um, which are there um, in the in the in the uh, in the anime are also there um, in the nov- in the novel. Uh, let me think of some. Um, so I I I. I, I, I I guess uh, there's the dream analysis once where like um, oh yeah, <laughs> um, I was like what does this mean? And she's like, uh, I'm not gonna. Say yeah, anything. yeah, and, and also like um, when he's talking to himself about like uh, how uh, he had a dream about having impure relationships with, uh, um, uh, and I think. I think it was with his senpai or, some, or an older woman, and his uh, psychoanalysis of that is that <laughs> he, he really wanted to have an impure relationship um, with, an, with a woman or something. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. He wanted um, he wanted to have a, an indecent, um, heterosexual um, yeah, relationship with a woman, mm-hmm. and from that uh, dream, you know, he. he he then basically concluded the same thing. So yeah, um, yeah. Which, which I mean, you know, we, which was obviously true, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I th- I think people want wanted from the novel to see more or more yeah. of um, Sasho and Yamazaki being chummy, chummy. I like uh, <laughs> it, it. Um, yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, um. Um, yeah, especially those two, but also, also with Misaki as well. Like... Oh, another, another difference is that um, the anime that plays in the background very often when uh, Yamazaki is home is a fictional one in the, in the anime version, whereas in the novel it's a real one. Um, so... Uh... Uh, about the novel, I think it's 197 pages or something long. Um, mm-hmm. The audiobook is around five hours. It was it, it was pretty nice, even though like it's a, it was a fan audiobook and there was some repetition. It was pretty nice. Um, no, it, yeah, was, yeah. it was narrated overall very well. The guy put some effort in it. And um, yeah. uh, so about the. The novel itself, so it's technically a light novel, but um, the only la- illustration is is the cover um, <laughs> illustration, which uh, uh, which has Mis- uh, Misaki, um, and uh, you know with the weird look on in her eyes or whatever, uh, and um, yeah. yeah, yeah. It but, will, it it will definitely be um it's it's good, it's definitely going to be worth talking about the the difference the differences between this Misaki. And the uh, Misaki you see in the anime, right? Yeah. So maybe we can start with um. Let's let's get to the characters maybe through the story. How does the story commence? So yeah, the, 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 I think <laughs> it commences. Yeah. Try to follow this. Yeah, I think um. So uh, 
so uh, you, you are an interesting t- uh, test case, uh, Kiasmo, because uh, you 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 read the you read the novel first, um, and you haven't seen uh, the anime. Exactly. M- m- maybe later you can uh, you can watch the anime and see like because also, most yes. yeah because most people watch yeah. the anime first, and th- that's how they get the impression. Um, so the anime uh, sorry the, the novel starts uh, well the anime starts in the same way, but but then. Novel starts in a very interesting way, like a bit, bit, it's sort of like a prelude, um, something. I should have gotten, I should have, I should have gotten the ebook up uh, before starting to record. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's it starts off uh, with the protagonist talk, talking about how like conspiracies um, are fake. Yeah, it was an interesting. In a sense, it mirrors the end. But it was very interesting how he says there are all these conspiracies about uh, how certain groups are doing certain things. Is the usual, the usual suspects, let's say, are, <laughs> are called into cause. And he says, but those are all uh, those are all fake. I I knew uh, I know about one conspiracy. I know because I know a person, and that person is myself, who's been involved with it. So it's kind of an interesting starting point. Yeah, yeah, it, like ninety nine percent of um, conspiracies are false, but I, but but I have found one. Um, I mean, it's a little bit of bit because like it, it's not like he he actually believes in it, really. Um, I don't I don't think. Um, but maybe that's why he believes it because, like, if I don't believe it, but I think about it, maybe that's that's true. So mm. I found it quite interesting. I saw sort of self doubt, and that's what maybe is convincing me more and more that this conspiracy is real. Yeah, I mean, some of the t- titles titles of the chapters uh, are interesting. You know, a uh, birth mm-hmm. of a soldier, jihad. Uh, <laughs> Days of the end. I, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that when I first read that. When, when I when I first read the novel, uh, because I I don't think there's yeah, any, yeah. there's any of that in. It's the... also, yeah, sorry. Go on. Also, um, also the um, conspiracy framing is very interesting, right? Um, as, as, um, especially think about when this was written, and this and this was written, you know, with, um, during a decade when being a a a conspiracy theorist was far rarer i mean i I think Mm. um i think now right i mean most people are like you know um um, most people probably um sorry um, if if you think about let's say the um america you know what's what's happened in like you know um all sort of all sort of the 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 stories that that sort of have emerged around bigger events like let's say um, the um, american elections right so um, in in like all those cases um now and um, this decade and also the, the 2010s um it like massive yes. uh, like, massive you know sort of institutionalized you know um, conspiracy theories um all like have them being peddled for like you know um, a, a very long time at this point, and it's all it's almost like it's always like kind of normal that um, living in conspiracy is sort of you know is sort of to be expected, right? Yes, it's almost I mean, like, taken for granted nowadays. So yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah, I mean, obviously, there's like there's different grades to be. Um, to oh, of course, conspiracy. I mean, the uh, the the conspiracy um, sato. Um, Sort of um, falls into is um, is sort is sort of the the sort of the the the, the loner conspiracy, right? It's not, you know, because there's like there's you know there's there's like tiers of 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 conspiracies, right? It's, you know, um, ranging from like Russia Gate to like Atlantis, right? I mean, mm-hmm. uh, is not it's closer you know, to not, the not, kind not, of MK uh, Ultra type of conspiracies. Yeah, 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 exactly right. So you know, and, and um, it's like um, it's very interesting um to sort of see that um, he's like um, he's sort like he's sort he's sort of um, self-aware of it, 
but it's also like a, this. This story is also written at a time when um, conspiracy is sort of left like less part of the culture, and so this like it it um, for him it's just it's just like another another way in which he is a pariah, right? I mean. Um, I don't know. I care. I I thought I thought I was gonna go somewhere. With, yeah, with I mean, um, I think. Ramble, but, uh, yeah, I think probably. Uh, uh, he, 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 shit. Uh, Kikikomori now, um, is like probably going to be more on the internet than Sato. I mean, yeah. he, he like he doesn't even have a mobile phone. Um, I think. Um, yes, exactly. And. Um, uh, you know, some of the stuff uh, about anime um, and otaku culture as well. Also, I'm not sure, um, like, if some of those trends have kind of passed. Like, visual novels are not really... Uh, I think that, that back then there were a lot of visual novel adaptations. Um, like, cutesy, moe uh, stuff. Um, I mean, I... Uh, yeah, so some of the tr- trends um, have mo- moved on. Um, I think, um, yeah. Um, so in the, even in the, in the interview, um, he said that um, Ta- Tatsuhiko Takimoto said that he thought that things were a lot less worse for uh, Hikikomori. But I, I don't know, like, if he, if he was talking like uh, just about himself or something. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, which I forgot mm-hmm. to mention about uh, the author. Supposedly, uh, was a Hikikomori as well, but uh, you know, like, and he's, he's, he's saying they still struggling to a degree. Yeah, yeah. um, I, I imagine it yeah, prob- he prob- was, probably um, he was he was released in two thousand and five, right? So I wanted, like, um, I didn't I didn't do any research um, after after um, when when this particular audiobook ends, which is like two thousand and five, and he's still mm-hmm. saying, well. You know, uh, I basically, I basically just uh, like uh, living off the sales of this story yes. right now. Uh, yeah. I've got, he's um, he's he's a kind of trapped himself, uh, which 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 is very tragic. Um, but yeah, I I imagine I I do um, um I do um, imagine that he has sort of like got gotten out of this um, rut um, at this point, right? Um, or not? <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a there's a blog post by him um, which was uh, translated. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, so in the interview he said that now he's part of a band where like all the members are novelists, <laughs> uh, which I kind of found funny. Um, and uh, yeah, he's also obviously, as I said, he's also work, working on. Um, yeah, no, I remember the name uh, that manga and, uh, and light novel. Called Isekai Nanpa, and by the way, uh, NHK was not his um, first novel. It was his second novel. He, his first one, I believe, had already um, got a movie yes. adaptation, adaptation as well, mm-hmm. or, or maybe, or maybe uh, later got it. Um, so yeah, if you go, like you, you shouldn't you use that site too much. But if you go on uh, Reddit, or <laughs> on the Welcome to the NHK subreddit. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, because so- somebody translated a blog post um, which he made. Um, let's see. So, uh, so, so basically, uh, he, he posted. Um, I'll probably probably put a link to that as well, or I'll probably forget uh, to put a link to any any of the stuff. Um, but but yeah, you, basically you can find it on the pinned post where like. Um, yeah, it's it's there. Uh, if you go to the 2021 uh, FAQ page, and then um, uh, yeah, uh, the last link where it says here is a link to an afterword of the original author, and there's so so uh, there's the first afterword and the second so so the first afterword which was made written in 2001, and then the the one uh, written in 2005 which which uh, we just talked about. Mm-hmm. But then after that, there's also uh, a blog post which he made in two, two, 2016, 10 years afterwards. Um, and I'm not going to read the post, but um, um, yeah, uh, he, he basically says that um, 
um, you know, like you you can't change just you know that that sort of stuff, which uh, I mean it sounds a bit glib, but yeah, it's true as well. Um, yeah, I'll put a link into this in the description about that. And now that I've derailed the entire conversation, <laughs> um, let's move back into it. So yeah, um, uh, by the way, um, uh, on the I haven't said this. So on the screen, on the top right, there's this um, okay. Jap Japanese guy, um, and that's um, Tatsuhiko, <laughs> the author. Um, he he sort of looks different in every photographs, but um, anyhow, <laughs> I just picked one. Um, yeah. So so it's uh, yeah. So it starts off with the with the prelude, and then and then it moves on to him talking to his furniture while being high on drugs, right? Yeah, that part was kind of weird. When he starts to break the conditioning by using drugs. He talks about this legal drug that I sold in Japan. I was confused when I was reading that. I mean, I don't know, like, it could be that, like, uh, a Tatsuhiro or whatever, tat the, the author is like, it was, it was totally a, a legal a drug, guys. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I hear the Japanese are pretty strict uh, on on illegal drugs, so maybe it could be it could be legal ones uh, too. Um, uh, yeah, another thing which came to mind so uh, when um, you know uh, Fahrenheit was talking about conspiracies and um, like um, how in this case, like it's him alone, like the lone um, conspiracy guy. Um, I, I I guess it's also because of uh, the internet. Wasn't there so like? Uh, it wasn't as yeah. as important as prevailing as it is today. Yeah, like you couldn't just go on on some website to hear people talk about like like on on Bitchute or whatever, t talking about like QAnon or whatever. Yeah, uh, so something like that. Um, anyhow, uh, go getting back to the story. So we are introduced to Sato. Uh, I can't remember. His Thirty-two surname. years old, yeah. unemployed, college dropout, still living on hands out from his family, and Aniki Komori. So he's stuck at home all the time. He only goes outside during the night once per week just to buy the food he needs to survive, and. He feels demotivated pretty much to do anything. He sees himself as the lower, lowest of <laughs> of creatures on the earth. So and he doesn't know what to do. So we haven't uh, we haven't explained what a hikikomori is, but I think I don't know. I, I feel like people who watch this uh, will know about. Um, Just in case, a hikikomori is pretty much someone a shut a shut in person, someone who gets into his room. Most of I think most of them are men. Uh, recludes himself into his room, retreats from the world, and just spends the rest of his days pretty much uh, doing nothing, consuming anime or reading manga. Or nowadays, compared to when the novel was written, of course, browsing the internet and playing video games. Yeah, I mean, it, it seemed it seemed pr pretty weird. Um, um, not not so much in the in the um, in the novel because in the novel he gets access to a certain kind of uh, pornography, but uh, mm. uh, in the anime it seemed a bit weird, like how um, like he, he didn't know about like that you can watch pornography on your computer yeah. until y Yamazaki <laughs> tells him. <laughs> like, um, yeah. Um, I can I can kind of believe it though. Um, to be honest, I, like I I wasn't like taken out of it. Um, no, no. In, in the anime, right? Um, because because like um, I didn't um sort of sort of get access to the internet until like until like I don't know like twenty twelve or something. So you know, I mean, it, it's um it, it's interesting, right? I mean, I don't know, like um. <laughs> I guess I, I guess um online and pornography has has sort of been around since like you know um online existed but uh, I, don't, like, I don't I don't I don't really know about like you know um all like um all of the public know about it um but I don't know it it, it, it wasn't like it wasn't some um, completely unbelievable 
Um, though I guess I guess for like a um, neat like a Sato, who like li- literally does nothing all day, um, he is like probably the the demographic who um, yes. who finds out about it on his own. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway. Um, of course, the novel was published in 2002, and the anime was a few years later. So imagine yeah. middle of the 2000s, internet wasn't. Yeah, because uh, because uh, later yeah. later on in the anime, like uh, he gets addicted to MMOs as well, um, <laughs> so, and and yeah. that's and that's absolutely not there in the anime because back in 2001, I mean MMOs were there, but I would say. Um, like stuff like WoW or whatever, it was. I think those, yeah, they started to be popular around 2005, 2006 was the boom of the uh, massive multiplayer online games. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I, I th- yeah, uh, yeah, it's about the anime, so we can't, we can't talk about it, but yeah, it's, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, you know how, how it goes, right, uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, so anyhow, let's get back to yeah. uh, back to this. Um, yeah, I mean, it it's very like um, it's 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 somehow very difficult to uh, talk about talk about this um, without without also referencing the anime. Like uh, I could, <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess um, like I guess I guess just just like it, it just to sort of um, give a good a good sort of feel about um, how the tones are different. Um, um, so sort of, sort of um, in the anime, um, Sato, um, you know, he's um, he's uh, told by Yamazaki that like all the, um, all all these gal games exist, and then and then he goes and plays all you know all those gal games for like forty eight hours straight or something, um, and like I don't know, uh, uh, and it's played off like you know um, with um, a lot a lot of comedy, but um. In 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 the novel, um, Yamazaki basically like it basically just shows him a uh, CP, right? Yeah, and exactly. Then, yeah, and, it's then, very and, then, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's a very different. Even and the then, tone, you can you feel know, a sense of like the main character is both repulsed and curious. There is this kind of it's not uh, it's not played for laugh at all. If anything, it's like. <laughs> a cry of what am I turning into? Yeah, um, yeah. The, and, uh, I think. It. Yeah, right. Yeah, and um, I think I think this this is something the uh, novel touches on that the anime doesn't really, um, and that's and that's that feeling um, you get when when you sort of like become a adult and like you're sort of in like your very early twenties. Um, or maybe like um, eighteen, seventeen, and and you slowly s- sort of start to realise that you like um, mentally, um, at the very least, you can like you you um, you can like re- like like really sort of go down, and 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 sort of um, descend and uh, mm-hmm. start sort of start sort of entertaining um, certain uh, you know uncomfortable ideas, obviously. It doesn't. It 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 doesn't have to be like child porn, obviously. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're like late teens to um, your um, very early twenties. I saw I saw that very odd time when you sort of um, or in for me, you still have a sense. Mm-hmm. There is still a sense of yeah. innocence. when at the same time you enjoy yeah. spoiling that kind of innocence because you feel the thrill. And, that, um, and yet, there's this conflict inside of you that fuels this rejection and attraction even more. Um, going back, yeah, yeah, but you know, it, it, it's a, it's it, it doesn't it doesn't really have to be sexual, right? It could it could be you know sort of um, maybe you know, you know, you know, you know maybe your sort of older self is flawed mm-hmm. and and it's just it's just sort of like um, biologically there, like like um, in you. That you actually do have to go through some sort of transformation at this age, you know, sort of in your young um, adulthood, and you sort of, and it's not it's not like a physical transformation, but but it's sort of a mental one. Um, yeah. I don't know, like um, this isn't this isn't really talked about um, a lot, but I think I think it definitely does exist. 
It and felt more like it was implied rather than it was implicit rather than explicit, which I prefer usually. Yeah, 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 right, exactly. So, um, briefly going back to the Hik- Hikikomori thing, um, it's kind of a loose definition because, like, the, the protagonist, uh, Sato, calls himself uh, H- uh, Hikikomori even after. Um, spoilers, I guess, he gets a job. Dun, uh, dun, dun. <laughs> Um, yeah, even after he gets a job, he calls himself like Ikikomori. Another film. I think he justifies himself, though. He says, the, the thing is, I had a job, but I never met anyone because I was working during the night. And most of the time, I didn't need to interact with anyone, even on the workplace. So it's more like uh, it's trying to preserve his own identity as a. Uh, in a sense, Ikikomori, even if he's not an Ikikomori anymore, technically. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it's 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 very it's very um, bittersweet because he's improved one aspect of his life, but so much of his life is um, sort of in the drain. Like uh, he's like um, he's still he's still sort of um, afraid of the judgment of of, of other people. Mm-hmm. He's afraid to go outside, you know. Um, and he seems and, to be saying yeah. pretty much, yes, my I improved myself, but I was sort of forced to do so. So I don't see it as a victory. I see as something I was a necessity. Yeah, which I can relate to, to a degree. Um, okay, yeah, because like um, I think it's more uh, they, it, they put more emphasis on it in the anime, but like um, you can you can see it here as well. I think he, he says it here as well that like. Hikikomoris can only exist because, like, uh, there's people g- giving them uh, neat bucks, essentially. <laughs> like, um, yeah, parents or s- something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You cannot actually, be a freeloader uh, without someone paying for you. Yeah, actually, uh, thinking about it, like, I... I'm I'm pretty sure this this a novel or, um, or a light novel is like probably is probably like one of the best arguments against the UBI. <laughs> anyway, right? Yeah, because um, yeah, I mean, I've seen um, like uh, yeah, I won't name names here, but um, I've seen some YouTubers, some neat YouTubers, uh, <laughs> trying trying to get um, basically uh, benefits. Uh, for their di- for a disability for a mental disability, um, we, yeah, because I guess they have kind of given up on trying to like uh, go outside or whatever, um, and yeah, b- basically, if, if they can get themselves labeled as mentally ill, then the government will give them money and they can just uh, <laughs> yeah, see. just be neat. Um, yeah. I I don't think that 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 the term neat um comes here comes up anywhere uh what one no it doesn't use it yeah what, one thing because it was too early i think the term need uh, by the way came up uh, in the in the uk not in japan um anyway and then it spread to japan as well oh. <laughs> yeah oh, but, oh interesting, interesting yeah but, but, but they stopped I didn't, uh, yeah I yes didn't know that. It's yeah. as it was the classific uh, um i pulled up wikipedia and here it says the classification originated in the United Kingdom in the late, in the late 1990s. Yeah. And then it was spread in varying degrees to other countries and regions, including Japan, South Korea, China, Taiwan, Canada, and the United States. Yeah. Um, uh, I think I think that was a better, a better term which they used to use before, which they mentioned on that um yeah. What was it called? You, yeah. Uh, Frieter, something like that. No, uh, Frieter actually does come up uh, in the novel. Um, because mm-hmm. b- basically, what um, uh, Sato becomes when he gets a job is uh, is a Frieter. Like, uh, if you, if I don't know if you remember, but he says like, "Frieter, uh, Frieter sounds sounds bad too." But uh, a, a Hikikomori is the lowest of the lowest. So. Uh, a mm-hmm. free a free is I is someone basically doing part time job through some kind of agency or whatever, um, mm-hmm. 
like they can be fired at any time, or something like that. Um, oh, okay. Like uh, they, they basically just work. Um, they work to to live, like not any, not any more or less than that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, um, I'm gonna. T- <sighs> Am I allowed to um to uh, talk about the uh, traditionalist um roots of this story? Go on. Well, okay. So um, if you um, and this and this and this is um especially um oriented around uh, around a Yamazaki, right? Mm-hmm. So so a Sato is um is like basically a, a typical um Japanese student. Who um who um who gets kicked out of um his his um school and then like develops a bunch of uh, and then sort of um, develops a bunch of um, anxiety issues. Um, he's um he's um detached from his like his actual place in the world. He's sort of been put in the put in the foreign place. Um, he, his family isn't really there. Like um, his family is very distant, and they own, uh, and and they sort of send him money, and, that, and that's kind of it. Um, there's there's no real expectations on him by society to sort of move, um, at least at least not that much, unless unless like resources run out, and that and that's basically just like the hard cap on him. But mm-hmm. okay, in the case of Yamazaki, you know, um, he like um, he has like um, inherited property um, back at home, he, um, and he, um, he has the um, tradition. Of um, arranged marriage, um, sort you know, sort of on its side. Not, not, yes. not that I'm saying you know arranged marriage for everyone everywhere, but you know, I'm just you know, I'm just I'm just saying that um, in the case, of, it, all I'm saying is that um, is that because um, Yamazaki has this sort of um, support structure in place, um, he sort of comes and um, he sort of walks away from the story in a um, great state. You know, um, he's sort of like homesteads in. Um, and he has like a cute wife, um, you know. <laughs> but um, but as Sato is um, unfortunately and uh, regretfully a, a modern man, and so um, he's sort of, like he's, he's sort of going it alone, and he and he sort of has to uh, fend off um, the uh, temptations of the modern world, and and uh, unfortunately he sort of fails. Um, for um a lot a lot of the story um so yeah there you go there's like there's like there's like the uh, traditionalist um interpretation <laughs> yeah i mean um it's like yeah i mean it's like uh i mean yamazaki zaki's story is like a kind of uh, i hate that word but a uh, bittersweet or whatever like um <laughs> on the one hand he gets like uh his, his uh whatever dreams he had crushed but on the other hand um yeah. Um no, 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 no. um Yamazaki um is saved from his um from a a life of a degen- of a degeneracy by his sort of natural path in life by his true calling, which is to work on land. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean um I think mm-hmm. it it sort of implied that like um he doesn't really have he like uh, basically, his mind has been filled with ideas about like um, um, ambition, essentially, but he doesn't really have uh, the talent for it. Uh, so he has to go back. Um, it, it's it sort of reminded me of um, uh, the protagonist in Kokoro, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> he also didn't didn't want to be sent back to the to the countryside, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's sort of at to... only in Kokoro we don't know how it ends really. Instead, in this one we can assess that Yamazaki has to return and it's going to be like that, and that's it. Oh, um, another thing which I forgot to mention at the start was um, that there's this thing, this thing called uh, the rebuild. Of, of welcome to the NHK. Um, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so, I, I uh, do, uh, yeah, I uh, don't think that the uh, the rebuild went down well. Um, it's um, it's it's funny because like um, 
it it seems that um, whenever um, the word a rebuild is um, appended to, <laughs> to, to, to like anything, it's uh, it's like a it's like a bad omen. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I think he, he probably probably named this rebuild because of the rebuild of Ev- Evangelion, obviously. Um, <laughs> he tried to yeah, pull yeah. an Evangelion. Uh, speaking of pulling an Evangelion, um, I think I, I think back in two thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the interview. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, but I think I can't remember the exact date, but it it wasn't long after the the novel was published. Um, um, Tatsuko Takimoto went on an interview on um, not an interview, um, like a, a discussion, a talk show about about yes, anime. Yes, was in two thousand and five. Two thousand and five. Um, uh, and uh, so so the discussion was hosted by the way by Toshio Okada, the quote unquote Osa- Otakin, uh, the guy who made who made uh, Otaku no Video co co founder of Gainets. Any anyhow, they were talking. Yeah, and then. Yeah, and uh, he he also has a YouTube channel. Yes, uh, um, but unfortunately, mo- most of it is not subtitled, so you can't. Um, but but there's some decent stuff. Um, still, yeah, still I don't know how relevant um, he is anymore. Uh, I I I've heard a rumor that like um, 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 it was from a, a Libido comment video, like that that that, that there's a stream or something of. Um, um, Toshio Okada crying on uh, on air or, or something that he's he's no longer relevant because basically after he left Guy and he, he was never really able to get back and in into the anime industry. He just he just became uh, just another anime analyst and now he's he's on YouTube alongside the likes of uh, Giga. Um, so I can't exactly blame him for uh, <laughs> crying about that a bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, eh, eh, yeah, I mean, not just Giga, yeah. but 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 also also us, you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, God, yeah. I would, um, yeah, I would cry as well. <laughs> you know, you know, from working at Gainets to ending up, uh, yeah, um, yeah, and yeah, ending up in the bucket, I guess. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyhow, he went on this talk show and we're talking about classic anime, and the show was about Evangelion, and apparently he said that. Um, his favorites so that that uh, yeah he said that he respected Shinji for running away, <laughs> and uh, and that uh, the drop, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that his favorite scene uh, in Evangelion is um, the hospital scene. You know everybody's favorite scene. Um, yeah 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 yeah. Everyone knows that scene. Well, we're all... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's infamous what, for a reason. Yeah, because um um yes um uh, because um Shinji um forgets to wash off the the soap um after he leaves the bathroom, right? Um, that's right. why. Right. Yeah, that's right. And it's like really funny. Yeah, it's really funny. It's really funny, and uh, unfortunately, you uh, know, um, some a lot people of, like um yeah. a lot a lot a lot of people um don't notice the uh, soap um. On Shinji's hand, and so and and uh, so um, right. what I do is that um, I you know I um, make sure to uh, point it out to them. Right. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I I don't know if you have see, seen that post on Fortune of like um, I, it was on on the anniversary of uh, end of era or something, and it's like uh, a bunch of um, um, uh, uh, people on Fortune uh, with, with what looks like. Uh, like so, they 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 took photographs uh, with with what looks like um, um, soap in their hands while being in front, in front of in front of uh, Asuka picture or something, and it's not just one like a whole thread. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, some some people didn't like it, and so apparently, yeah, uh, he he laid a little bit low after that. I wonder why that is, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I, I, I don't think I shared the whole blog post. Um, it's uh, it's on a, on a blog called uh, frogkun dot com. Um, it's it used to be pretty popular, and the the author of, um, the owner of that blog, um, uh, later on went on to Japan, um, and now works for Anime News Network. 
Th- th- there's some nice and not nice thing to say about her, but a- anyhow, um, on, on there, there's a there's an article, um, um, w- which says that um, after the show, um, he he met some re- religious woman um, and it got into some uh, got interested in uh, you know fortune telling and that so- sort of thing. Uh, s- uh, some spiritualist stuff for a while, um, which is which is kind of interesting. Um, o- obviously, if you watch the anime, you know that uh, he has some interest in self help uh, books. Uh, uh, anyway, he has read all of them apparently. Um, but um, I I thought that was kind of interesting because I don't know, like I I didn't feel like the, the novel came out uh, as particularly pro- uh, pro religious. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's really um okay so where where were we let's go back to the oh. stuff uh-huh. he stopped as it's him uh pretty much just mellowing in his room taking drugs he starts to speak with the various pieces of furniture and then all of a sudden he starts to realize that there is a conspiracy Right, the conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fahrenheit. Do you want to explain the conspiracy? Oh God. Um, <laughs> basically, the the conspiracy is, and and Mister Frisch tells me this um, himself, is that the NHK, which is like um, but, Japan's yeah. like yeah. Um, BBC major broadcaster. Yeah. 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 Um. They're like purposely showing great anime to um, make more hikikomori, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and and uh, Sato is the only one who's figured it out because he's a um, great genius. And oh. also, um, Mr. Fridge told him. Uh, I see. Hmm. Yeah, so um, so basically, the the NHK is um, conspiring um, against him. Um, and 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 that's what has turned him into a Ikikomori. Um Yeah, and I, I I think that's what he concludes. Maybe like maybe he like adds some other stuff, but that, that's like the that's like the general gist of it. Uh. Yeah. Um. And he he basically starts coming up uh, with different things for what the NHK uh, the, yeah. the initial as um, because it it. it Stands for uh, Japan Broadcasting Corporation or something, but uh, he, he, I think he will let's yeah uh, he will keep the the Nihon at the start and replace the other two. Um, yeah. I, can't, I can't remember. And, uh, yeah. and it's uh, Nippon um, Hikikomori Kokai. That's like what it what it comes up with. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, I, I don't think the NHK is doing a pretty a good job now. Like. Uh, Given the state of anime, but uh, uh, okay, so l- let me have a look at the copy. Um, yeah, I can't remember what happened afterwards. What happened afterwards? Somebody tell me. Afterwards, um, after he decodes the message, he starts to become sort of paranoid that any time he goes out, there are people looking at him and passing judgment on him, and that those are the NHK agents trying to make him feel more and more miserable. So he starts to blame pretty much everyone around him of being part of this conspiracy against him and the rest of, of the young man, but especially him since he's um, so upset with his own life and he wants to change, but there is all this whole conspiracy against himself. Therefore, he tries to change. And at one point, he gets... Uh, more and more upset, and if it feels like there is nothing worth living for, until two women appear at his door. Oh, uh, th- 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 that's a funny incident there. Which uh, I don't know if it comes across that word in, in the in the novel. They are like, um, he he like he thinks about uh, like how um. You know, uh, some ancient uh, martial arts master, or whatever, spent uh, oh, yeah, s- yeah. his time mm-hmm. isolated on, on a mountain, 
and he thinks, well, I've been here isolated for uh, how long has he been there? Two years or something, or a year? Something like that. that yeah. yeah. And uh, they he, say if he was able to achieve such greatness in just one year, imagine what I could. Oh, and he, he he tries to kind of karate chop uh, uh, um, a, beer, a, beer, a beer bottle, um, yeah, and it's up with blood blood on his hands. I think I think he yeah, it came up funny in the anime, but yeah, that that's one of the comedic moments. And then mm-hmm. um, I guess this is where yeah, Misaki's character is, is introduced before Yamazaki. Yeah, uh, so two religious yes. yeah. Two religious, uh, solid- Two religious solicitors. Yeah, <laughs> I think they are like Jehovah Witnesses, by the way, and because at one point they mention their publication, which is Awaken, and that one is the title of one of the magazines that Jehovah Witnesses always have with them. So I suspect he's talking about. If it's not them, it's something that it's close to them. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just to get like an. Just by the 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 strategy, um, um, Mizaki's art uses. Um, she definitely does come. Um, she definitely does come across as like, a Jehovah's Witness. Because, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it, it, I think um, I think um, everyone has had that experience where like a, a Jehovah's Witness comes um, comes by, and you have to um, find a way to um, politely sort of get like to sort of um, politely dismiss them. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I never, I never, I never really got uh, Jehovah's Witness. It was like, uh, like I mean, you know, like just be Catholic. I mean, come on. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, it, so yeah. But by the way, um, in the interview, Tatsuiko claimed that um, he got he he got the idea for that because he was approached by a uh, religious solitist, solitist uh, himself but when he was lock, uh, locked up in his room but i don't i don't know if uh, if one of them was a cute girl or not um <laughs> oh, <that's so> sad. <laughs> uh, apparently he, he had a lot more trouble with um, yamazaki's character um though he couldn't exactly explain why maybe because like he was talking in english in the interview and he can't tell you um yeah, uh, but n- neither can I, so I can't relate. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so, so the two religious, uh, so, so he, he basically fucks up um, totally, and um, I, it was pretty funny in the anime. Um, I don't know if it was that funny um, in the novel, uh, where, like, where, like, like the the religious solicitors, like basically this um um lady, middle aged lady and uh, a girl with a uh fa- with a parasol or something, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, parasol exactly. I think they say that he says or rather Sato says that she's wearing some kind of religious looking clothing. <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, I think she, I think he meant something very modest looking. Yeah, and. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing there is that basically he starts he st- he starts fantasizing ab- about her there um, mm-hmm. <laughs> while just standing or something. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think we need to re- retell that, but um, no. And then he snaps out of it and, and tries to play the uh, the cool card but fails miserably. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes when, um, listen to the, to the audiobook, I don't know whether you had the same problem, but also when reading the novel, I had some trouble getting which character is actually speaking and, and whether like Sato is, spe- is speaking aloud or like speaking to himself. Uh, did you guys, um, experience that as well or? In a couple of points, but it seemed re- relatively clear. I kind of liked when he jumped back and forth from his thoughts to him speaking because sometimes it's like it, it blurred the line between what he was thinking and what he was saying in the real world, which sometimes happens to, I think, every one of us. You yeah. say something that you were just meant to keep in your head. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, you. Yeah. yeah, or um, you just you just sort of, um, or you would like, like I literally can't get um, sort of what's in your head out of your mouth. <laughs> Yeah. Which, 
which is a real frustration, yeah, it has to be said. Um, anyway. Yeah, in, in this case, uh, however, Sato speaks uh, too much about what is on his mind. Uh, I, I think mm-hmm. w- what, what triggers him is that um, one of the pamphlets or whatever that they hand to Sato just happens to be <laughs> about, <laughs> about H- Hikikomori. Right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, because so he's paranoid that people are always talking badly about him, that every, everyone is laughing at him uh, mm-hmm. because he's a loser or whatever. So um, he starts to uh, sort of apply yeah. to keep in this position. Yeah, and um, he starts to like um, be- become paranoid about whether like uh, these people know that he- he's a hikikomori yeah. um, or something. Um, <laughs> And he tries to make some excuses later on, especially when around Misato she um, she starts to question him. He keeps saying weirder and weirder things. So um, Fahrenheit, did you feel like uh, Misaki was more or more of a bitch uh, here in the novel or in the anime? Um, it's definitely here in the novel. Though well, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like go as far to call her a um, bitch. Well, I don't know. Like, um, there are times where she is like very, um, you know, where like like um, where she just sort of um, openly um, insults mm-hmm. him, and um, she like um, she's very um, superior. Um, However, wherein... something that I felt, even when she was being so brash and aggressive, there was sort of a what happens later on in the story made sense even then. You can f- you could feel that there was something like um, it was more of a defense mechanism on her part rather than her being on the offensive. It was sort of like testing the waters. I don't know. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's um, she's um, a bit of um, she um, is a um, bit of a bully to uh, Sato. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean. You could feel there was a sort of an inchness to it that wasn't like uh, really cruel. It was more like how she interacted with him to test the waters. Mm, I, I think as, the, as a, as a plan. So. The, the best moment, however, uh, it, it's not on purpose. It's been like it's been like during one of the counseling sessions. Uh, she's like, um, you, "You've got to learn." Not uh, like uh, I, I have this ma- uh, super technique um, about uh, like uh, for you for you, Sato. Like you've got to speak to, uh, to people while uh, looking down on them um, and like not, yeah. not not telling them that you th- you th- um, that you think that they are worthless. Uh, oh, like so. <laughs> <laughs> um, and obvious, obviously, um, mm-hmm. obviously. Sh- and um, then Sato, Sato asks, uh, like, whether she, she also uh, she, whether she also uses this, this technique. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And she says, uh, well, "It's it's interesting. It, it's it's um, interesting because um, it's like she's um, trying to uh, compliment him. Mm-hmm. So she says, oh, well, um, I'm I'm a really confident around you.'" <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, you know, obviously, obviously, that sort of implies, um, you know, she, uh, um, she um, thinks that she is like absolutely superior, or you know, um, above yeah. above Tato. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, um, I think, I think, um, most of um, most of me is like his um, sort 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 of negative and personality traits. Um, she shows towards Sato. Um, is is just a a a a, 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 a reflection of, of what she feels um, about about herself, right? So yes. She's um, exactly. she's a pretty con- much is mirroring. She's literally projecting herself and uh, trying to pretty much match uh, the two personalities and say which one is worse. After I put them one on top of the other. I mean, but but but, but she does genuinely like. Um... A look down on uh, Sasha, like she, she does li- really think that he's he's re- really dumb or, or whatever because he dropped out yeah, yeah, of co- yeah. college or whatever, and that's when yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, that, that's mm-hmm. when the whole uh, joke about like uh, um, you know psychoanalysis, uh, psychoanalyzing his dream or whatever. I think 
I think in the um, in the anime, like he he is totally aware of what uh, his dream is supposed to symbolize, and that that's why he tells it tells it to her um, that way. I think uh, yeah, I think I think it's it's the same in uh, this um, as well. Yeah, even even, even, even though you get the more, uh, yeah, because yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's um, a, it's um, a, um, a, a lot more obvious in the anime. I, I think um. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I think he, like um, he just like he just wants to find a way, sort so, sort of any way to get him to uh, to sort of get his own back, and then and then he even says like you know I've uh, I've uh, sexually harassed this uh, this a uh, girl now or something, uh, <laughs> uh, which, which which is funny. Um, um, after uh, yeah. the first meeting with these religious solicitors, um. Uh, he spirals back into even goes even further into his depression. He cannot stand himself anymore, and he starts to be bothered by the loud, loud music being played by his neighbor, Room Two Zero Two. And at one point, he cannot take it. <laughs> that, that, that's well, the, that's uh, the song. Um, in the anime, yeah. <laughs> in the novel, it's from. A real, um, I think I, I remember even. Da, 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 da. It's it's a real anime, the Japanese title. I remember it was even translated in Italian. Ojamayo Doremi. Mm -hmm. It's from Doremi. Okay. Mm -hmm. I used to watch that as a kid. I used to, <laughs> uh, used to uh, in, in Italy. I don't I don't know if you if you saw it now. Oh yeah. My my sister watched it for a bit. Yeah, same here. Um, okay, I don't know. I, I didn't know that there were that the, the adults into into Doremi. Um, like, yeah, there. For what I heard, there were quite a few fans. I don't know, and I don't want to know why. So, let's put it this way. <laughs> I mean, it's Yamazaki. With, exactly, with the implications of Yamazaki's interests being revealed not long after this. So oh, this music plays, he gets fed up, enters the other, pounds his, his fist on the other room's door. The door opens because it wasn't closed. He gets inside the room, he's like, your music is too loud. And then he realizes who's yeah, and leaving. He, and uh, the, the, the only reason why he has the energy to go and do that is because like he keeps on getting progressively drunk because he's uh, yeah. depressed about the... Uh, the meeting with the um, religious solicitors, and now, um, yeah. Uh, one more thing about the religious solicitors, solicitors meeting is um, significant thing was that um, Misaki, um, Misaki kind of smiled um, b before leave. She she waited until the aunt, uh, her, which is the other solicitor, moved away, and mm -hmm. then she smiled in sort of, uh, or at least uh, Sato perceived it as a as a mocking um, smile. Yeah. <laughs> But it probably was as well. <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, Seeing the later interactions, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I think. Um, I think. Um, um, most likely. Um, um, that was when. Um, Mizaki like. Um, sort of. Um, knew that she had like found her her candidate. Yeah. She had like finally mm -hmm. found someone who was like lower than yeah, she exactly. was. Yeah, exactly. It was more like <laughs> the smile of a lab assistant finally finding the right the right rat on, on the witch experiment. Yeah. All right. Um so yeah, and um so he basically yeah, he gets drunk um and he can't take the anime music anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. ca coming from from Nets though. Um and I, I think that they both they both live in one room apartments, by the way. At least that's yes. Yeah. Say it's uh, like a one room. It's like um, a studio. Yeah, basically. But, uh, it's small room with all the. Um, they just got a you know, restroom. I think the only, that's the only part I separated from the rest of the room. You've got your cooking area, and your living area, and your bedroom all together. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, so I guess, I guess we have reached a point in the UK with studio apartments that it's almost as bad as Japan. 
um, mm. or, or even worse, because you should sometimes the to- oh. the toilet is not even separated. I don't know, like, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, yeah, it, yeah. It's uh, it, it's pretty grim. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So anyhow, um. So he barges out and to to the to the um to through that and the, the the doors are all open. Um. The, mm-hmm. And um, there's somebody uh, somebody um at the back of the room. Um, at, at his computer, uh, crying, uh, and he realizes that uh, it was um, his, um, I guess, uh, kohai or whatever, like he, somebody mm-hmm. from his from his high school, but from a lower grade. Um, lo- uh, yeah, uh, how do you say that? I, I, somebody from his high school was younger than him. Let's put yeah. it there. Uh, yeah, a junior. I, yeah, yeah, and he's an underclassman, right? That's what it's called. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. Or a lower classman. Yeah, you, you, you should <laughs> know. Because you're, you're, writing, you're writing about um, a story set in a, <laughs> in a high school, basically. Um, yeah. yeah. So... Oh, God. No, oh, no way. Don't remind <laughs> me. Um, yeah. So 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 the lower cl- classman is called Yamazaki, and mm-hmm. a- as you said earlier, Yamazaki comes off as a lot more colder. I thought um, in the in the anime, uh, in, in, sorry, in the in the novel. Um, by the way, um, did he build a bomb in the anime? I don't think he did, right? But, <laughs> um, no, no, he didn't. <laughs> He didn't. I think um, it, um, instead um, the bomb scene was um, changed for like um, his um, uh, um, his um, anime like um, merch um, reveal to his like um, Ugh. lady friend. That's <laughs> cringy as shit. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's let's not talk about that. It's not in it's not in in here anyway. Um, this was yeah. better. Better. I thought this was better. I thought. Um, um, and at this point, the story takes a little bit of a um, of a break. It talks a little bit about the past. There is like a series of flashbacks on uh, on the high school campus and the anime club, um, the literature slash manga slash anime club in which both of them were and. There is also the older lady that for a little bit was sort of a crush for I mean, well, Sato. By older lady, we mean like a senpai or something like, um, like uh, basically a upper class yeah. man, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, not, uh, not that much older. And she, she's also basically kind of crazy, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a common trait. And he try. Uh, uh, we also discover how Yamazaki and Sato became like friends. Sort of, it's because he, Sato tried to rescue Yamazaki and got a beating in return. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. His um, um, yeah, um, the um, the president of the li- li- of 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 the literature club. Or yeah. uh, or a senpai, um, yeah. She um, she's a um, she's a very depressive person in uh, both um, the novel and in the anime. Uh, I I I I honestly think she like she just um, is a depressed person, and she suffers from depression, mm-hmm. and so like she sort of reconciles it by you know um, weaving um sort of um conspiracies um yeah she's a conspiracy theorist too yeah yeah it's but and probably but, um, one of the reasons uh, why but, was, uh, you so. know uh, all 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 um uh, uh, no no and no, um, no when all uh, uh, oh god sorry i can't i've um, suddenly lost i've um, suddenly and um, completely lost the ability to speak yeah but um but um, you know, um, all um, all the best people are a conspiracy theorist. Um, are a conspiracy theorist, so it's fine. Um, mm-hmm. But, but uh, anyway, um, yes, um, the prevailing mood around um, Sato's um, relationship with her 
is this idea of like lost opportunities and uh, this like if you sort of dwell on um, lost opportunities in your life um, too much like it can it can sort of become um, like um, very uh, crushing and yeah. i think i think that that is um um another another sort of chain um for us that so is that is that he's he's always um thinking about the past he's you know he's um he's always thinking about w- what he's lost um and uh, and um she sort of um she like uh, she's kind of the embodiment of that right mm-hmm. um, for him at least um uh, but um like she's um but um, interestingly she's also um scared of the future right um uh, which which is kind of which is kind of thematic you know because because if um if she represents Saturn's past then it's it makes sense that she'll be afraid of the future but that's that's like I think I think a lot of that is my is my just sort of fearing with Saturn and may like may make sense. I think she she's a lot more of a minor character in the novel. Um she's not very present, yeah. She's like like um at one point she reappears, they meet later on after high school and she tells him how she is taking drugs and that yeah. now she's about get married because she got pregnant from uh, I think it's like someone working in a ministry yeah and yeah yeah and she yeah even, and she, and she, she, even like, proposes, uh, she even proposes him she seems to be joking about having an affair he turns her down and then he realizes that she's starting to cry so maybe there was some truth to it. Maybe she really wanted also an affair with him, even because he he reveals that they they had sort of a story together. If it didn't really turn into anything, uh, he says that they had sexual relationships at one point, even if it was just a one night stand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. basically Sato's reward for I don't know pl- playing cards with her for wh- whatever two years or whatever, uh, and listen to mm-hmm. to her conspiracies. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, yeah, I, I kind of liked um, like the, the, those sections about um, uh, when uh, Sato is talking about himself uh, and also about Yamazaki, like back during the. Um, um, mm-hmm. High school days. Um, they are interspersed here and there in the story, but they work well. Um, yeah, that's, so it's bit, to put it briefly. It's like uh, they they had, let's say, hopes, but with, with, that were not very concrete. Um, like uh, for, for the future, uh, <laughs> and well, yeah, that. that but it, it it wasn't. I think. Um, in the in the uh, in the um, in the novel, it sounds more like it was a pleasant time than in the in the anime Fahrenheit. I remember in the anime, it, it was like uh, it, it, like it was just just about like how it was a lost opportunity. Like that didn't seem to be like um, um, any any feeling that it was like a happy time or whatever. Um, mm. um, uh, yeah, 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 that's true. So, uh, um, all from all the characters in this, um, um, are they all um, millennials? Um, because um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of this makes way more sense if these characters are um, millennials, right? Um, Why? Well, because um, if like um, I think um, I think as senpai, um, she like um, she um, at some point mentions. That um, there were there were these dreams, but um, at at a some point, uh, you know, you know, when ev- um, everyone got kind of run down, yeah. and 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 that's like the um, prevailing feeling um, that um, a lot a lot of the millennials have, right? That's uh, that they were sort of promised a lot, a lot, but um, ultimately, um, all when, the dreams were taken they... away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly right and uh, maybe like maybe that's a, a, um, an, a, another angle to sort of look at this from 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I mean, um, I mean, there's still Hikikomoris now. Um, so it's not totally outdated, I would say. But yeah, that's another interesting angle to look at. Look, look at it from. Um, so yeah, so they, uh, he meets Yamazaki, um, and Yamazaki's room is more of a mess than his own room. Uh, there's, I, I, yeah, <laughs> there's boxes, boxes full of, um, hentai games, uh, mm-hmm. and I guess, and manga, and manga. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> Sato is, is kind of scared a little bit or something. Um, and Yamazaki was crying. What, what was the reason why he was crying? I the reason it's... was crying as a gophers. Hmm? I think it's because of school, no? Because it's real life. It's sort of in denial. Oh. Isn't that the reason when he, why he's crying? Because he's realizing that it's wasting, that it's pretty much giving up on his education and therefore it's wasting his life and he cannot find Mm. the energy to continue his projects. And in a sense, it's what Sato reignites by his presence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I think think it was was that he was being a a truant for a while now. um, And that's why he was playing at this time. Uh, the music. Um, he, he, so he was being a truant because he couldn't get along with any of the people at the. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the, uh, the, um, at the animation school. Yeah, 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 yeah animation school or whatever. Um, right. Um, so. Um, at yeah. that point, Sato invites himself in and they start to talk. And yeah, I think he offers him. A, he goes back to his room and grabs a few bottles of beer, and they start to chat. And um, he Sato is straight away able to be like fr- frank with uh, Yamazaki that uh, he's basically a Higumori, I think, um, even mm-hmm. though he's kind of reluctant about it. Uh, and he, I don't know, like I don't know if it's again just in Sato, Sato's mind, uh, but. Um, he says that after he says that, uh, basically he could see that Yamazaki had lost uh, his respect um, for Sato, basically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, it's kind of it's kind of weird because you have on one side Sato wants to be very and it's really this guy's like, yeah, honestly, you are terrible. You are even worse than me. <laughs> Thank you. I came into your room trying to cheer you up, and you slapped me in the face. Yeah, um, y- y- Yamazaki's ca- character is pretty funny um, I- in the anime as well. Um, like, um, I I don't think uh, uh, I don't think this is, this is the point when when they start screaming about women being evil or something. No, that that probably comes later. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, yeah. It, it is. <laughs> yeah, at one point, women go away. It's not to talk about that. I found it kind of funny because it seemed to uh, like sound this something out of um, one of those MGTOW posts from 10 years ago. Yeah. It was ahead of his time. Ahead of his time, yeah. <laughs> um, well, at least he was expressing himself in a way that was way more frank and. Funny, kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in the anime, like, uh, he actually gets a girl. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what... students, I'm, get, uh, I'm uh, getting a bit of echo from you. Okay. Then... Uh, well, what can I do? Uh, is, is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, it's fine now. It's fine now. I, I, all I did was hold it a bit closer. Um, who knows mm-hmm. how these things work. Um, anyway, uh, um, yeah. Uh, we didn't actually ex- explain what the rebuild of uh, Welcome to the NHK is, other than saying that it's shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, moving on. Yeah. So, so, on. Yeah, so, so basically, it's um, like a quote unquote uh, short sequel, but it's not really a sequel. And um, it's, uh, it's about 
20 pages long of actual story. Um, and it's like, um, basically kind of a short um, reimagining of uh, what what yes. the sto- story would be like if it was set in in the in the present um and so, so basically like they have yeah. they have smartphones and i don't know it seemed too cheerful um like um yeah uh, yeah, yeah it's um it's um a bit a bit of a uh, rebuild if you will of the uh, right. story <laughs> yeah, exactly. You couldn't have put it any better. Um, From a doomer to a bloomer. Um, like, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, as as you said, um, you you can read it. It's just twenty pages long, but it's not worth it. Yeah, it'll, it, yeah. It it will take like ten minutes. Yeah, it, it's not worth it. The five pa- pounds or whatever, whatever. It's on Amazon though. Oh, five pounds. That's that's a pretty ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> For thirty pages, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so they th- um so, uh, somehow it ends up with um, Sato. Um, so uh, no, I, I don't think Sato ends up with some phone. He he just leaves um this time, right? Um, or does he? Like yeah, I didn't read this whole the, the whole thing in one go, so it's my memory is a bit murky. Um. So what happened afterwards, guys? <laughs> I can't remember. Hello, are you there? Hello. Hello. Uh, I think I've lost them. Hello. I can, I can hear. Okay. Are you Perfect. back? Are you back? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's good. Okay. Um, so, if I recall correctly, it's the second time. The first time he just leaves, and then uh, they talk again the night after. And mm-hmm. I, th- I think, if I recall correctly, let me think. So, yeah, they meet. They talk about the past. They talk about the anime club uh, that they were going to in uh, the literature club in high school. And after that, if I recall correctly, there is a second visit by the uh, religious solicitors. And this time, uh, I think this time is when, uh, should be this when, um, uh, what happens when Misaki starts to approach him and says that she has a project? Oh no, sorry. He goes back, and then he tries to get a job. He forces himself to go outside, feeling that everyone around him is part of the conspiracy to hold him back. And finally, he's able to enter the um, anime cafe where he where he wants to find a part time job. And he doesn't even realize that, um, well, the person he's talking to is Misaki. And after a short talk, where he tries to Do you like bikes? It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that felt really honest, like something someone would really say when you accidentally find yourself in that situation. And she says that she has a project. If she wishes to uh, listen to her, it doesn't says is not interested and runs away pretty much, leaving his um, application behind with his number or his details. After that, um, it's when they meet again with um, with Yamazaki and. Then he starts to. They start to talk about life and their ideals. There are some very <laughs> interesting and creative debates about the nature of uh, what's the meaning of life, what's the meaning of beauty, and more. More comes up. And after that is when he starts to ask him to be involved and work together to create. 
an erotic game. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so so the reason the reason that um, he, he ends up working on an erotic game um, is so basically he he goes to meet um, meet Misaki. Um, uh, yeah, he, he goes. I can't remember exactly. So 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 basically, w- what happens is that he gets. I think Misaki brings uh, uh, someone uh, b- brings. Um, it brings back the application um, for the manga store, which um, for the, for the manga cafe, uh, which he, he had dropped, um, yeah. and I think puts it to the through the letterbox or whatever, uh, mm-hmm. or, or maybe hands it to to him. It doesn't matter. Uh, anyhow, at the back of uh, of it, um, um, like it says, uh, it asks him to go to the park to meet yes. her. Um and um, um, she's is being selected for a sort of <laughs> project. So, do we need to? By the way, um, uh, do, do you guys think we, we shall we just jump around around the story, <laughs> or, or, or rather than uh, because I don't well, because we sort I, yeah, of already please. did it. <laughs> because I I think the the problem is that yes uh, please. Uh, the the problem is that um, there's many places where like um, you know like it's 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 just a ca- character thinking a lot between the events. Yeah, it slows down a lot, um, which I like honestly. Gives you an insight of how Sato and self relates to the yeah. world. And and the, and yeah, the, I think um, yeah yeah sorry sorry no go on. I think um I think it would be a good idea to uh, just like um just spend some time um talking about um a major theme, um which is suicide, right? Uh, mm-hmm. It's um it, it's um explored a lot, um especially in like the last um half. Um yeah. Uh, I mean, should I go first or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last the last two characters, the last two chapters for sure. Before that, there is a lot of talk about uh, the nature of God, if there is a God, and what makes life worth living for. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, um, do you, what do you want to say yeah. about su- suicide, Fahrenheit? Well, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, well uh, wait for it. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> so, um, sort of in the meetings um, with uh, Sato and... Mizaki um brings up how a um how a god must be um cruel um if he did did exist and that um even um even though gods um would probably be a you know a a, a very terrible person she still wants him to exist anyway um and then um but anyway this so uh, this <laughs> this um must have sort of um um kind of um, embedded itself into my sub um, into my uh, subconscious in some way um and uh and, and, and this will make a lot more sense later um but so anyway and and um, also when um also in these meetings um suicide or or sort of um existentialism um sort of comes um up up again and uh, this is uh, where they go through the various death notes of famous people, and um, you know when uh, and uh, Miyazaki goes uh, famously, um, she goes uh, bing bong bing bong, and also oh, yeah. uh, and also uh, ping pong ping pong, which which is a uh, pretty cute. Uh, uh, but so anyway, um, and uh, and uh, this. Uh, this ties in with the end, where where Mizaki um att- attempt attempts to kill herself, and mm. she um quotes a um a famous sprinter, which says something like the uh, soup was like very tasty or something. I can't I can't quite yeah, remember. Yeah, about ro- roasted yams. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the, the, the roasted yams very tasty. How good they taste when you are pretty much saying when when you are back home, everything tastes. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it's um, it's it's very fitting that a god and suicide will be mentioned very close to each other, because if you um, if if you believe in God, then a a suicide is kind of impossible, um, for you. 
um, which um, I, 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 I sort of came to, okay, so um, I, 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 I came to this realization um, because of a dream I had, right? <laughs> where, where I was like um, floating um, among, among, among the canopy of some like trees. And I was basically being like sucked up to heaven or to, or a sucked up to judgment, and um, I was like I was like terrified. And the reason I was terrified, not it, it wasn't because I was like going to die. It was it was because I wasn't like it, it's because I wasn't prepared for um, what comes after. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like um, I wasn't I, I wasn't prepared to be judged, right? And and the, and this dream was was in a very um, strict uh, Christian. Um, God's um, context, where like literally, a an angel came down, like with like with a sword and like killed me, and that, and, and that was like the end of the dream. But um... your soul is um, permanent and you know this is this is this is, this is also this is also probably the uh, the case for, for the beliefs you know if you and um, if you believe in like reincarnation or just you know or just or just sort of a a, a, a system where your soul isn't this temporary thing like um, suicide stops making sense right because just killing yourself isn't the end so uh, um Mizaki's um, attempt at suicide is um, is is a greatly tied in with with her loss of faith, right? And and what's what's sort of there to save her is sort of her, you know, her sort of um, the fact that she does kind of believe in God, but um, really, you know, um, she's um, she's having major doubts. Uh, um, you know, um, as, as, uh, sort of, um, especially, especially, um, you know, especially um, about about her um, her value, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I think there's something very interesting going on here, or I'm just sort of reading way too much into it. <laughs> but um, what like um, what I really um, sort of took away from Mizaki's character is that Miyazaki. is that um. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that um, is um, um, is sort is is sort of the um, importance of having um, God sort sort of in the culture, or sort you know, or, or sort of having a um, idea of a uh, yeah. soul. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's uh, 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 so there you go. I've um, I've um, I've um, I've, um, I've um, managed to shoehorn in my uh, dream in- into this into this dream <laughs> no it's true though especially in the last chapters it's about again one of the recurring theme is what gives meaning to life and they look for look out for in a sense for uh, an enemy someone to fight and resist at the beginning is uh, this idea that there is this huge conspiracy then he moves to the idea of creating uh, through the <laughs> to the perfect arrow game <laughs> the ideal uh, state of mind to free yourself then it's this debate uh, about god and how for misaki it would be better if god was complete evil or something to completely go against and try to fight against and then um after that i think it's when um uh, yeah it should be the part when yamazaki wants to create a bomb and after that is the realization um pretty much at the end is when all these plot points converge uh on the cli- uh, on the cliffs of uh, Mizaki's old old town, where she wants to commit suicide, and in a sense, all these past experiences from Sato's point of view come together, and he find a way to save her. 
because he's able to say we need to create our own um in a sense something that we need to oppose for me it's this uh, this nhk this conspiracy about them turning us into kikomori for you is this god that needs to be opposed and must exist at the same time for um and he realizes that for um for Yamazaki it was this idea of fighting a battle that even if it meant a complete self-sacrifice, it was worth fighting. I find it kind of an interesting um, way to put a nice uh, all these idea, ideas together and put them into like a nice bow on top of the story, even if the ending is rather depressing in a sense. It was well realized where he sort of is able to put all of you, all of these ideas that you've been in contact with. He synthesizes them into this last speech he gives and he sacrifices himself, even if he's saved by spoiler. <laughs> he tries to jump off the cliff. We were, we were told in advance that because he, that place became famous after that famous writer's suicide, they had to put net fencing all around it to prevent people from jumping into the sea. Yeah, I, I think that the first time I watched it, I, uh, like, although I heard, I heard it, I, I yeah, uh, I couldn't remember that uh, the netting was actually there, so that, that, was, that was a surprise until until it was told told to you obviously um so the thing the the, yeah. e the evil god thing um that um misaki has got on uh, got, got going on uh, kind of reminds me of like um how um you know some antithes or whatever it is used to talk about like like k kind of talk about god as if he like because obviously they, they don't believe in gods but they, they will talk about him as as if he was real to, to them, like, oh, he watched all this suffering happening in the world, mm -hmm. whatever. It's, um, it's very often, yeah, this kind of, um, because of, uh, of, let's say, the religious culture in Japan being very different from, say, uh, a Christian country or an Islamic country, it's like a strange hodgepodge of a lot of different views. At one point, uh, Misaki talks about how in Shinto there are more than three million gods. So that's why also she feels confused by this idea of God. It's like, how can we actually find out about God if there are so many of them? But of course, the God that she sees, the God that um, Sato sees, um, for sure is not the god of Christianity. There are elements of it, but they are more like, it's a little bit like many say that Evangelion, the religious stuff is more like the themes, etc. Uh, have more of a aesthetic value rather than a real value. And I sort of agree with that assessment. Christianity influenced Japan to a degree, but more on an aesthetic, sort of like something novel something that's foreign to them and that's interesting to look without getting any real insights. Of course, uh, we should also mention uh, that incident when uh, <laughs> Yamazaki gets a huge, uh, like, um, I think a life-size, uh, we would say, yeah, the, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anime fig fig figure, figurine mm -hmm. or whatever. And mm -hmm. I, I think they yeah, are still this on. Is the, this is the object of <laughs> this is the object of our worship. <laughs> yeah, and this happens after they go to the, um, to the religious meeting. At some point, pretty much, uh, Sato decides let's go and have a look at this um, gathering and how they are, and they <laughs> they pretty much have to disguise themselves and they put on some weird clothes and if I remember right, uh, Yamazaki even bleaches his hair. Yeah. And they bring with them... And they're uh, high on drugs as well. I think Yamazaki yeah, is. Uh, he's high on drugs yeah. and they also buy yeah. some helium to change the picture. 
to the voice of the electric. <laughs> Incognito. <laughs> um, yeah, that part was so weird. It was almost like it was something that could have happened, but it was so weird. Yeah, um, especially um, how um, um, how they um, sort of um, or, or, or um, um, how um, they like both um, sort of spoke in their duck voices. I thought yeah. I, I thought I thought that was very funny because they had like changed mm-hmm. the, like the tone of their voice so that the voices were like really high pitched, and mm-hmm. the Yamazaki disappears off into the bathroom. Yeah, it's the second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, and um, it's the second time that Yamazaki runs away. Because yeah, the yeah, yeah, exactly. they end up going to the meeting because um, the day before, Mizaki and Sato go for a date in the city where then they, they talk about God, etc. Um, two solicitors, how old, um, a man is in his 30s and a young boy come uh, to talk to them. They find them in, in uh, Yamazaki's room. And pretty much Sato says, we want to come uh, to the meeting. Can you tell us where the gathering is? They go, they look, they see how Mizaki doesn't fit even in this group. And then later on, um, Sato inquires more into deep and discovers a few things about Mizaki's past. And at the same time, when they are about to leave, Sato and Yamazaki are approached once more by the um, uh, young boy and Yamazaki runs away and Sato stays uh, and speaks with um, with this young member of this church and it's an interesting it's an interesting thing that both times that Yamazaki runs away it's when Sato discovers something more about so it shows that he considers himself the lowest among the Ikikomori of Japan, and yet he's the only one that doesn't run. If anything, he's a very proactive character without realizing, which is something I liked. The first time is when he forces Yamazaki to come with him and take pictures. I want pictures, picture of Spider-Man. I mean, <laughs> under under, under uh, um, yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. I want, I want, I um, yeah. I oh, want to see underneath Spider-Man's dress. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens? Um, they are hidden in the bushes. They are taking these pictures. And at one point, someone, uh, Yamazaki starts to punch on, the, on, on his shoulders, trying to get his attention. And he's like, don't bother me. I'm taking pictures. And then after a while, he realizes that it's not Yamazaki there anymore. It's Misaki. And... And yeah, Misaki, yeah it's, that, that, that scene, but then that leads him to be able to. She says, You really are a, a degenerate, that, that makes you even more perfect for my project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that scene was it was really dark, but I was saying, It was like, yeah, yeah, it was like, Yeah, truly are the, <laughs> the scum of the earth. I love that. You need to work with me on this project. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second time is when there are the religious gathering and again someone recognizes them and immediately Yamazaki bolts for the door and disappears and instead Sato is the one who has the courage to face the consequences of their action I mean I don't know talk- it, could, it, could, it could also just be that Sato is not good at running away right no, <laughs> and Yamazaki like it's, it's almost <laughs> Morbidly, morbidly curious. It's like I want to see how it's gonna end now. Um, I already went this far at this point. I'd rather face the consequences and see uh, what changes it will bring. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, in the fairness, uh, Sato is the kind of guy who would uh, commit suicide to a safe So you know, mm. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything yeah. is possible. I mean, yeah. 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 Also, um, just sort of more on uh, Mizaki for a second. Um, a lot of um, a lot of how she behaves, um, like um, how she will like jump up and down, and like say, you know, um, yeah. I'm so happy, you know, uh, you know, A lot of it is um, is um, very fake. I think I think um, all yeah. 
yeah, I think I think all through the story, um, a, a very good job is made of um, sort of making her feel like a fake sort of um, person, mm -hmm. where you know, where and she's putting she's putting on a mask and pretending to be this person that she is not. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Um, and you know, Sato doesn't. It seems to be like he doesn't buy it from the beginning, and slowly is the one who unveils. He has the. He finds a way to get through this mask and understand more and more about her, because during some of the, I think it's during the date when they, let's say it's a date when they go to the um, to the city. It's when he di discovers a lot about her past and the fact that she cannot stand um, her new family. She cannot stand the idea of being involved in this religious circle and that she's pretty much trying to find someone in a worse situation than hers to cope and to try and... And if she's saying, like, if I can sort out someone that is such a mess, then I can find a way to sort myself, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, list, um, listening to the, um, the novel was um, actually quite uh, rewarding in uh, in a way I didn't quite uh, anticipate. Um, so, um, for example, um, in the case of... Because... Um, we had a, 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 a discussion about the anime a, a few mm -hmm. months ago now, right, students? And yeah. uh, I, 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 and um, I, I mentioned a, a few things that didn't really make any sense. And uh, and, and, and there was moments where Sato just seemed to just like go like um, completely crazy out of nowhere. Uh, and um, certain things in the anime aren't, I, I don't think, really ever explained too well. But um, the um, novel actually does um, do a, a very good job and sort of is sort of filling in the gaps in sort in sort of in sort of what the characters are feeling at um at a what point um so I can for example um I can I I I couldn't really properly understand why Sato um decided to like kill himself at the very end uh, because because it um it was it, it was it, it was um it was it was presented well but um. I did. I I didn't really like truly understand uh, just by watching the anime, but um, now like um, I know. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's obvious. Like obviously, um, he wanted to show Miyazaki a miracle, and mm -hmm. um, he would um, he um, he he wanted to sort of well, well, he um, he was desperate to try and find a way to sort of validate her existence, and also he he like still hated himself enough that at the same time. Uh, and also, um, sort of, um, oh God, what's, what's his name again? Um, Yamazaki is, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and um, also uh, Yamazaki's game sort of, sort of giving this idea to uh, sacrifice himself. So it's it's it all makes um, it it that sort of decision makes a lot a lot more sense in the novel than that than it did originally. So, yeah, so, okay. so that was like so that was pretty nice, and and also when um, Sato, um, decides to take pictures of of like middle school girls, um, in the anime, it sort of it sort of came out of nowhere. Like uh, Sato just like sort of um, went crazy, went like really crazy. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, in um, in in the novel, like um. He, he kind of wanted to punish himself and he, you know, he wanted to um, get into trouble for like looking at CP basically. And, and so like his, his sort of weird way of doing it was like literally just was literally think... to like go out in like into public and make himself feel like um, disgusting. So even though like a, you know, even though he wouldn't be like arrested, he like, like he would still feel terrible at himself, and, and and that's sort of his way of of kind of like dealing with, dealing with, with the guilt. Uh, mm -hmm. So that made I made a lot more sense. I don't I, I don't know if you like agree uh, like a hundred percent. So that's that's kind of what I. No, it's um, a distant, I think I'm pretty much on board with that. Yes, it's like I'm already this low at this point. Let's go all the way this way. In a sense, I can get it out of my body. It's like when you when you have a fever, you 
you're already burning <laughs> yeah, with a fever and you put yourself under three, four blankets to sweat it out. You know, it's the I, same thing with this. I, and a form of commitment. I already went this far I think, for this project. Let's go all the way. I think w- w- I what, what happened was that um, basically he wanted... Uh, and I don't know what why it's echoing off the time and what. Anyhow, um, Sato wanted um, wanted um, Yamazaki to to take pictures of them while they were taking while he was taking pictures. Yeah, also that mm-hmm. because to show how ugly they were. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah. because he thought that if he could see how ugly he was, um, then uh, he would be able to stop himself or something. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was also, it was for the both for, for the project that they were working on, and to show to themselves how ugly they were turning. Yeah, because th- th- otherwise he would have just asked Yamazaki to take pictures of the uh, of the little girls as yeah. well. But he wanted Yamazaki to take pictures to take exactly pictures of him. Yeah. Um, so about the goat thing. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's also the scene where, where like, uh, they are on drugs and uh, y- Yamazaki, uh, Yamazaki says that um, um, he comes to the realization that uh, he is God. <laughs> but, yeah. but, but then, but uh, Sasha is like, no, I know, I know that he's uh, wrong. He's absolutely wrong because the truth is that I am God. I am God. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was good. Um, well, it seems like he's about to say something that makes sense and he's saying it's completely <laughs> Yeah. And then he dreams about like uh, about uh, actually being an isekai protagonist. Like he he, mm. he has been transmigrated. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's it's funny how the drugs like have inflated the ego, where like a re- really really the the aim um, is to sort of um, overcome the ego, right? Um, I, I don't know. Like I, I don't. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't really know how like deep the story is, but like I kind of like I kind I kind of saw that that scene as like them doing the opposite of of what they sort of sought out to do, which was to sort of have like some like transcendental experience, but ultimately the the drugs just um, plunged them further into you know into their own egos. Um, and so, and like them calling themselves, or or coming over the, or coming over the realization that they were like gods, um, is sort of um, a a a very funny way of sort of of sort of putting that across. Mm. I I think um, so. I guess we could like like they're trying to live the, live the like the, like the the rock and roll lifestyle, yeah. which is which they say is. Um, Sex, drugs, and um, w- violence, or something. But because they're they're, they're, they're yeah. like they're too pathetic to actually be able be able to to do any any of it. So like <laughs> they but yeah, yeah. Uh, like 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 the, the the violence when they try to do it. Like it, it all it all becomes like a, like a farce basically. Uh, yeah, I just think it was so weird. Like they they think. They are doing something so cool, but uh, you can almost picture yourself looking at these two guys. <laughs> yeah, you know, like when Yamazaki tra- like tries to do the the violence part, like uh, yeah, it, it's um, the bomb. Yeah, right. Yamazaki follows through, <laughs> but 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 it, it's just it, like he doesn't even explode. He can't. He doesn't have anyone to kill, and uh, the, the sense part <laughs> of the rock and roll will. Uh, they are not having sex with anyone. They are just no. making a stupid uh, erotic game. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, uh, Trying to come up with scenarios, and then they they keep evolving into. <laughs> and um, I, I guess the, the the violence part of the rock and roll lifestyle, like it, it it's sort of that. So so that's the bomb, but but there's also like um, uh, the fight which they have at the park. Which which sort of starts off as a farce, 
Um, mm -hmm. uh, but um, that, that's sort of a, a resolution as well, I thought, um, a little bit. Uh, bec uh, well, at least it's, it, it becomes it becomes satisfying, but in an in in sort of an empty way, like um, like like at at first um, they're not fighting for for real, <laughs> but but they're able they're able to like uh, actually rile up <laughs> e each other by uh, insulting yeah. each other. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Something, something, something about Yayoi animation being a shit. Uh, See, <laughs> that's what's really. Yeah. And yeah. Now you've gone too far. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, really goes off the rails. Like once they start calling each other like you know, pedophiles and like you know, <laughs> uh, Kamoris and things, and then and then uh, Yamazaki like tries to like strangle Sato to death, uh, which was uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, it, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, like, I think uh, they, yeah, they, uh, they they start off by yeah, um, yeah go on. No, no, it's fine. I've uh, I've like interrupted you twice. Um, uh, like, I was just going to say that, like, well, when they start fighting, it, it's such a fast that they they like they start doing poses from video games and yes. anime or something. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, what are you going to say, Fahrenheit? Yeah, well, um, luckily, sort of me is um, you're um, uh, you're um, um, oh god, um, Misaki is sort of nearby, and so and so she um sort of splits up the fight, and uh, obviously, yeah, Gamazaki runs away again. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it the time because he thinks the police is coming again. Uh, Right. Yeah. Yeah, she she kind of kind of yells. But 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 doesn't she start hitting Sato instead? Um. Yeah yeah yeah. Um. Yeah, which yes, which, which does well, show that. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, this does show that um, she she does care about him. Yeah, on a there is level. a. Yeah, it's um, it's it's very. It's okay, it's right. I don't know. I'm yeah, it's I'm, um, yeah. it's hmm. yeah. I know. Um, it's um, it's very open. Whether um, Mizaki just sort of needs Sato to validate herself, or that um, actual feelings do develop between them. Um, it seems like the second in the long run, she starts to feel something for him and. He starts to feel something more than just basic attraction because she's young and beautiful towards her. Jailbait. Um, so, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of felt like she started hitting Sato just because, like, she she was afraid of violence because, you know, why. Exactly. Um, yeah. But, uh, like, yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's also, sure, it, it's, um, yeah, it's also interesting seeing the different contexts of of the um, fist raising um, sort of segments because um, in um, mm -hmm. in the anime, um, Mizaki, um, sort of um, Mizaki has to sort of well, in the anime, um, Sa um, Sato gets pushed way further um, to sort of um, terrorize Mizaki. Um, whereas, sort of in the novel, um, Sado sort of um, gets some like um, comedy relief out of um, Mizaki sort of um, um, sort of um, reacting to his like um, like um, raising of the fist. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess um, I, yeah, like um, I think um, I think overall the um, anime is more um, sympathetic to the um, main characters. But uh, uh, though, um, sort of um, in the novel, I, 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 and this is why the novel is more realistic, um, is that like the the characters really do do like sort of cruel things from time to time to, um, to each other, and and they will sort of do like small yeah, petty true. things to each other. That's that you do see with you know with regular people, and so um, Sato just like starts playing with her maybe because he's sort of tired of what she's been doing to him so mm -hmm. sort of time. baby 
Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. trying to I'm curious as well. Also like, yeah. to see a reaction. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a mixture of both. He wants to see how much he can push this and probably also wants to it's like a little bit toying with her just to scare her for yeah. the sake of it. Uh, uh, so uh, about the, um, the romance, uh, a possible romance between uh, Misa Misaki and Sato, I, I remember discussions about it um, you, you know, many years ago uh, where like p people were like asking, so why is it that um, Sato rejected uh, Misaki's contract once um, I, I guess the obvious answer is because he didn't he didn't feel like he, he was worth it. Uh, but also, I, I kind of felt like it was also because Misaki was kind of lo looking down on Sato uh, throughout. Yeah. So, like, was there really any romance? Like, uh, like obviously, there's a confession at the end by Sato, but th that's mostly to save her life, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I wasn't like the, like it wasn't really a, a romance story between them or something. No, but since, since it's told, Very let's mean. say in the first person, it's told through the eyes of this character. Maybe it's something that he doesn't even think about it, but for sure he has some feelings towards her, and uh, and the opposite is true as well. She has she starts at least to develop some kind of feelings towards him. But it doesn't need to be, again, what I like about this book is many things are left, are like assumed, sort of implicitly told, or there is like, you don't need to be to have it told to you. The book is, let's say, confident enough that you can get these messages that are not, not in the foreground, but more in the background or not even spoken at all, which is something that I admire because it doesn't, doesn't need to say everything uh, spill out all the beans for you and say, yeah, in that moment I was feeling that. No. A lot of these things are cut out. All the fat, in a sense, is streamed out. And just little nuggets here and there are left for you to understand um, the deeper emotions, the deeper parts of these characters. I felt like uh, th there was less otaku culture stuff uh, here because like I remember like there was like a whole episode or something where like uh, Miyazaki and Sato go to uh, Akihabara or something uh, and just sp spend uh, money I where, like I'm not sure where they yeah, even got yeah. that money uh, to buy mm. anime figurines DVDs and stuff um, yeah there is a little bit from uh, the only one that talks a little bit about that again is Yamazaki, but the other characters don't seem to talk much about anime or it's it's mentioned here and there, but it doesn't seem to be. It's like it's left on the side. By the way, in the anime, you you do get to see like what the character. That Sato, uh, uh, the heroine, that um, Sato and <laughs> Yamazaki designed together, who is like a, a robot and, and like basically. Yeah, the description yeah. was rather funny. It was a, yeah. an alien robot made that also had ties with the heroes. <laughs> that was kind of funny. The description was so convoluted and. Silly. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, yeah, and um, the yes, terrible palsy was <laughs> was was a maybe maybe going a bit too far in some places. Um, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it's all. Yeah, it it's also a very funnily written scene in the anime. Although um, the the anime um, makes makes her crippled um, instead of have like you know a. Um, brain condition yeah um, yeah it's all right but um it's um um even though it's 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 more light-hearted um the anime is um still well worth watching um i like I, you know um i don't i don't i don't think it's really fair to uh, compare a novel with a anime because they're like they're oh, very different, things. They're different I mean, media. you know i mean yeah. you know um 
anime has like music and voice acting and mm-hmm. you know um pretty images uh, though um in the case of um welcome to the nhk um the animation sort of um the animation no, budget gets sort of cut in the middle uh, mm-hmm. but uh, but uh, it's like serviceable and it, and it really does bring the story to life like really well um but um yeah i mean like um i i I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do that thing where um, I like leave the two of you alone um, before another, and I like run off somewhere. We want to hear your final thoughts. So give us um, how do you rate the? Um, let's put it this way. Give us a rating, maybe, and what you think about the translation from novel form to anime form. Um, man, I can. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I guess. I guess I'll give it like an okay, yeah, nine out of ten. Um, there were like some minor issues, but the anime um is like very faithful to the um to the messages of the story, mm-hmm. and also That's... adds and and also adds like a few like re- like really fun and um, small arcs, and the uh, characters and well and um. The side characters have uh, have sort of like more to do, and um, they're kind of more interesting. Um, okay. As for, um, as for the books, uh, sorry, no. As um, as for this novel, um, I give it um, ten. I I give it ten Miyazaki's out of uh, ten out Miyazaki of, out of <laughs> okay. out of uh, ten uh, out of uh, ten um, Yamazaki's. And that's 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 my Ten Mizaki out of Ten Mizaki will jump off a cliff for this book. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. There you go. So it's like um the scoring is um is a Miyazaki sorry, is um Mizaki over <laughs> over a Yamazaki. Right. That's, mm-hmm. that's the system we should be using. Alright. <laughs> um Yeah. Um okay. So, yeah, so, sorry, Kiasmo, that it sort of turned into, like, a, co- comparing with an anime which you didn't watch. No, 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 it's fine. Um, um, it's interesting that it's something that I never saw, so I cannot really say, but it's, I do believe adapting um, a book into a novel and a relatively short one into uh, 24 episodes, of course, you need to put some... I'm not gonna say filler, but some extra content in it. I, I think it. This the, art, yeah. Etc. I, I think that the reason why it worked is because the anime, after all, is based on the manga on which the author actually worked on. Um, mm-hmm. So it's it's not like um, a bunch of totally different authors, which is like making up stuff to fill in between. Um, yeah. Be- which, Which is, is something that what happens usually doesn't lead to good. <laughs> yes, exactly. Good yeah. Um. All right, guys. Um. I um. I'll I'll leave you now. Um. It was um. It it was good talking about this. Um. Yeah. Or a trying to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you for joining See us. Bye. See you, man. Bye. Yeah. No problem. All right. Uh. So that leaves the two of us. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. So about the moe, uh, I, I I guess <laughs> I guess uh, um. I don't know. I like, have to wonder if the author. Um, I want to check when was uh, Dempa Man uh, um, Dempa Toko written because maybe he, he knew about the uh, about the book. Oh, um, I, I forgot to mention when, when, Farad, when Fahrenheit was on, I should have said it, uh, uh, that uh, Tatsuhiko's uh, favorite anime is Gundam, the original Gundam. <laughs> Which, I don't know, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I, guess, I guess it's sort of an old guy. <laughs> um, and I, the reason why I should have told uh, um, Fahrenheit, of course, is because, like, um, 
his most viewed video on YouTube, um, on his YouTube channel is uh, about Gandhi. Um, okay. um, so, um, what else is there to say? Um, so, so you've only re read the novel. Uh, did you like it? <laughs> it? Well, it sounds like you did. Uh, oh, yeah, it was good. Uh, one thing I would say is being uh, since um, it's a kind of dark, uh, dark story to a degree. It's something that I cannot wholeheartedly um, recommend to a Christian audience. Being, it's a very well written book that it's difficult to recommend. For. Right, right. Um, However, for how it's written, the character and the themes that it explores, in that regard, I cannot fault it. It's very good. So it has a strange, a dreamlike. Again, there is uh, this strange bridge between something that could be real, and something that seems too incredible to be real, but it's well blended. Yeah, because like th there are too many coincidences. Like um, Misaki just, you know, like when he tries to search search for a job, he, you know, he yeah. he just ends up there. Which, to be honest, sometimes things like this happen. It's weird how sometimes in my life something, uh, a few things went that way, and I was like, this seems too good to be true, like such a coincidence. So it's not completely, let's say it's very unlikely that something like this would happen, but at the same time, it's not completely impossible. Yeah. That's why the characters and the story itself felt like it could be actually <laughs> yeah. sort of real. Yeah, because it's it's not impossible that when you move to a large city, like your neighbor uh, will end up being like uh, your underclassman. Uh, it could happen, mm -hmm. but you know the chances are really so low. That's the thing. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, about the religion thing, I guess. Um. I I, I guess that that's also so. Um. We forgot to talk about it when, um, when they were when they were about to leave and Yamazaki runs away and, um, Sato is left with. Um, uh, the religious kid or whatever, <laughs> uh, I, you know, like he, he his view is basically that, well, all these people acted friendly to you, but really it's just like after you getting it's just like in normal society. It's not, yeah. yeah. Um, which sort of reminded me of um, of a book I read by um, Haruki Murakami, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't like his novels, or at least I didn't like no Norwegian Wood, but um, he has a book which is basically a, called called Underground, which is basically a bunch of interviews with people involved. Um, uh, most most of the interviews are with people who, who were affected by the sarin gas attack, terrorist attack. If you have heard oh, of yeah, it, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, but but there's also like a small section which he added uh, added later on at, at the end which were interviews uh, with people um, who were part of the cult and well like so some of some of the people uh, uh, like later on came, came came out and said like uh, oh it's it's just uh, after you get in like it's uh, like um, it's like normal society like there are hierarchies and every, everybody wants to get to the top uh, blah blah blah. It's it, it's all the same. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So so th that's that's basically I thought that uh, the take which the novel itself was taking on, on that um, was. What else? Uh, so yeah, the moe. Um, so uh, about the moe, I, I kind of felt. Did you did you feel like the the novel had like a problem of, uh, you know, people say uh, you know show don't tell. Uh, and like here yeah. in a few in a few parts, yes. But since it was a story told mostly through the dialogues in 
it's a lot of we should, we could, and then they don't actually do anything. So I kind of like that because it's like it's all in their head. And then when they try to do something very often, they cannot do it. So I felt it, I can justify it a little bit. Mm. Mm. Because, uh, for example, like um, the discussion about like uh, what um, like a more heroine uh, sh should be like or whatever, like uh, mm. about what an, um, or rather what an eroge should be like. That it should be like it should be unrealistic, um, like um, yeah, you, you're basically told that. Um, yeah. But I don't know. It didn't really bother me uh, that much. Well, me neither, because I think it was framed relatively well. Hmm. So it, it didn't it didn't feel like forced, but more like uh, inner monologue, like. Everything that the um, the characters the characters were going through, being told to one another, and try to, uh, in a sense, it was exposition done well. It was expository dialogue done well. Hmm. So, um, w what rating would you give the novel then? So, um. Again, I'll, I'll give a split, uh, a split score as a novel in itself. I feel it's a good, it's um, eight point five, almost nine, because it's really interesting. It talks about uh, relatable characters, despite how weird and even degenerate they can be, and the conclusion is so weird, like. It, it's quietly discomforting. <laughs> I would put it that way. It's like almost a surrender to to reestablish the order. The the character has to make a sort of sacrifice, even if his suicide doesn't work. So I felt it was an interesting way to end the story. And the second rating, I will give it. Um, from my, let's say, being a, being a Catholic, this book, it's way, um, way too dark in some, in some parts and a bit too explicit. So in, in that regard, it loses a few points. And I'd say it's, a, it's a, um, seven and a half with a big warning. Because they are, the, the characters, all at the end, especially the main protagonists, they don't seem to be like, this is fine. So at least that. They are not like condoning. And in, in a sense, at one point, by his own actions, the main protagonist is able even to kind of um, um, make uh, Yama, Yamazaki a bit um <laughs> it makes him realize that he was going too far so that's why i say it's a seven and a half with a big warning when it comes to certain themes that are discussed because i i felt a little bit uneasy reading them not in a bad way it felt the kind of uneasiness that is supposed to be evoked but i think it was a bit too much even Right, um, because I don't feel I don't feel like the the characters think that they are evil or something. They just th come to the conclusion that uh, the world is evil or something. Um, mm. Right. Um, um, yeah, that's also something that I don't. With pretty much, you need to make up your own. You need to create an enemy in your own sort of. I yeah I think they're basically saying that the enemy is the whole world. Uh, so you there's yeah. no, there's no no one villain or whatever you can point to. It's just the way things are. Um, and so for maybe a little bit implicitly seems to be saying that we are, uh, in a sense, we are the villains as well. 
because we create those villains. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's it. Though I, I kind of feel like, um, um, it, 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 like, like it's it's sort of saying that oh, we are all victims of uh, circumstances and the world or whatever. So that's the feeling I got. Mm. Like, um, yeah, a little bit that as well, mm. which reminds me of a couple of songs, <laughs> both of them by Italian authors, even if completely different. One yeah. of them is a song yeah. by De Andre. Mm. Which was like um, I don't know how to describe this kind. Of, it's, in Italian, it's uh, it's like the kind of popular. It's not like pop music. It's like popular music, like because it's written for the people. Um, always a little bit left leaning. And there is this song that talks about the. It's, the title in English will be the old city, and at the end, the last sentence is, if even if they are not. Um, Beautiful flowers, these are still children, and they are victim of this world. So it's a little bit the same kind of feeling, even if maybe expressed in a different way. Yeah, and I the think, second song. Yeah. yeah, the second song. No, no. Uh, yeah, it, 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 like, um, like I, I don't think that there was anything political. Like, um, if anything, if if anything, it like the novel was kind of apolitical in in the sense that like. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not like this side or that side that is that is causing <laughs> um, this. It's just uh, yeah, the human condition or something, something like that. Uh, it was an interesting like. Um, it was one of the theme is psychoanalysis. So in a sort of way, this is a, an analysis uh, of the mentality of people and how we cre- we need this kind of. Uh, we need to create groups. There is the evil NH, NHK that it's out to get the main protagonist. And then there is the new NHK that he creates with... Yeah, <laughs> with exactly. With Saki to, to sort of escape and create a sort of heaven. Or, yeah. And to protect, to protect her and protect himself in a sense. So that was kind of quite nice. And the second song I was thinking of is called uh, it's by an Italian band. I'm not gonna say the name because it could be misinterpreted. But the, <laughs> the name of the is uh, "The Sleep of Reason," and it says at one point, like it says, uh, "Everyone carries his own monstrosity," and I think it's a little bit of the theme, one of the themes of this: the scars that have been inflicted onto us in our own ugliness. At times, they are un. Unim- degree a part of us and even an important part of us and the character seems to uh, at the end all the characters they need to come to term and either accept it or run away hmm. Hmm. what what did you think of, uh, of the author's suggestion in the in the aftermath um afterward i think or whatever it's called um yeah he says that uh, oh this this novel would be great for like uh, informing people about psychological issues and <laughs> interpersonal relationships or something like that um i don't know about that um it is an interesting novel um and there are some interesting points when let's say where you can think about and try to uh, look at how yourself how yourself would react in those situations. I don't know how let's say quote unquote important it may be, but for sure there are some interesting notions, some interesting ideas. I think th- the reason why a lot of people didn't didn't like this novel um, um, is that may- maybe I, or at least I think in my case I was t- too young for it, so like. Uh, I just wanted to see, like, um, oh yeah, yeah, of course, like the anime like has like dark comedy and all all that, mm-hmm. but like, um, um, as I said earlier, like it, it's like it was fun seeing. Um, uh, so, so for example, another difference is that in, in this in, in the novel, like uh, the game um, basically Sato gives up on the game pretty early on, um, mm-hmm. whereas. Um, in the in the other one in the anime, uh, they both work on it together like uh, crazy, 
and then they try to sell it at Comic Ed, uh, and no, nobody buys it. At least I, I think a couple of people buy it, but that, that's it. And uh, you know, when Sasha later on plays it, uh, he feels, and it's a, it's an eroge at uh, that time. Um, I I think that the story is um, something like um, the protagonist and the heroine are like uh, in a place with no conflict or something, and uh, yeah, they, they just have each other and everything is happy or whatever, and it, so it, there's no conflict, so it's, so it's shit. Uh, mm-hmm. essentially, uh, <laughs> because basically, they, yeah, it, it, was, it was basically they are vicious, um, <laughs> but uh, without a conflict, obviously, it's boring. Um, what was the point I was trying to make? Um, yeah, so, so, so basically, like, it was, it was fun seeing uh, Yamazaki and, 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 um, and then Misaki gets on. Uh, on uh, as well uh, around them as well like uh, like the, the, there's an episode where like sh- she d- dresses up as a cat girl to try to get Sato to stop uh, playing MMORPGs um, that seems a bit too much a- and um, uh, a- and so, so uh, Sato falls in love with somebody in the MMORPG and plays it all the time and it turns out that it's fuck, fuck y- Yamazaki, uh, <laughs> like yeah, it, it just it, it gets more and more um, um, ridiculous. And it, after Yamazaki leaves, um, it feels more that, like uh, yeah. this last few sound more like uh, I'll be blunt. They sound more like cheap plots for some from porn. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah, but, but like, you know, obviously, obviously like, Sato is devastated when he d- discovers that, uh, like, the person who he had fallen in love in the, in the game was Yamazaki, um, deceiving oh, him. Um, yeah, yeah, and uh, <laughs> of course, when, uh, you know, uh, I mean, Misaki comes with, the, like, I don't think she dresses up like a, as a cat girl the whole way through, but, like, she puts on the cat ears and maybe uh, and the reason she does that is because the character that Yamazaki is playing the MMORPG is a cat girl <laughs> um, oh, okay. yeah but um, like um, you know after, after Yamazaki leaves it's it, 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 like it, it, um, it's kind of sad and it's like um, I, you do get a this feeling a, a little bit in the novel, but not not that much because it, it's kind of sad because like e- even though like it was like a fever dream and it couldn't last, um, mm. like they, they went on a bunch of uh, you know crazy adventures, uh, yeah, um, and yeah, but but you, you you don't you don't get that feeling at all from from the novel and like it's all grim, uh, and um, so I I kind of feel yeah, like yeah, of, uh, yeah. Because, the end of the yeah. People wanted to like with the with the anime. Like you can kind of have your cake and eat it too. Like oh, it's mm-hmm. oh, it's this dark th- thing. Like and it's it's not escapism, guys. It's uh, um, it's realistic or something. Uh, but 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 it's also escapism at the same time, uh, and it's fun. And like, um, isn't there something a little bit cool about uh, uh you know, Sato and Yamazaki? You know, trying to make a game and uh, do, doing all this stuff, even though it, it all ends up in a disaster, isn't that kind of cool? And like, is, isn't it kind of cool that like at the end, um, e- even though Yamazaki says that like, uh, uh, like a, a drama, I think in I, I don't think the quote is there in the uh, in the novel as well, but he says that, but he says something similar that basically, you know, a, a dramatic end, a, a dramatic death is not for something for the likes of us. Uh, because um, yeah. yeah, because um, in, in the in the anime, Sato gets involved with with a suicide cult. Um, <laughs> yeah, even that. Oh my gosh! And uh, basically, uh, it turns out that like all the other people in the suicide cult, Sato is able to convince them like that they don't, there's no need to die. Uh, like there's something good in your life, uh, and it turns out that. All of them have something good going on in their life, <laughs> except Sato. <laughs> and it's like, like, 
and he, and he's like it's going to kill him uh, i'm going to kill myself uh, because like uh, he didn't realize that it was a suicide cult he thought that uh, um uh, yeah he, 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 yeah it's it, it, because it's uh, that's why i said it's like more more comedic like he doesn't he doesn't realize that it's a suicide cult until he, he gets there um, because of a misunderstanding with um, the senpai, who also wants to kill herself, with along with the suicide cult. Um, and uh, anyhow, so at the end, uh, when they are about to jump, and like he, he's like, "Okay, I'm, I'm going to jump," uh, <laughs> even even though I've convinced all of you not to. Uh, and yeah. uh, and uh, Yamazaki and uh, Misaki and uh, like they are on a boat to try and stop the suicide. I think I think it's not a suicide cult. It's more like um, a bunch of people, uh, a, a, an online group um, of people um, who all decided to kill themselves. Um, so so they they organized it online and they moved to a, to an island off of the coast of Japan or whatever, uh, which belonged um. to one of the people who wanted to kill themselves. Um, and um, so so Yamazaki is uh, you know sh- shouting to 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 Sasha that like a, a dramatic death like this is not it's not for uh, it's not something like uh, something dramatic like suicide uh, like it's not for us um you know we are too like uh, we are not even worthy of <laughs> killing ourselves uh, <laughs> nice. um because um, I, I guess i guess he's saying it like in more of like i guess um you know how the Japanese bushido, whatever the you know th- that in that sort of sense. We are not worth in that sort of sense to kill ourselves. Mm. But but at the but at the end uh, in the anime, like um, and in the novel too, I guess to an extent, y- you get to see like it it, it is kind of dramatic, like um, <laughs> uh, the conversation that they have uh, and w- what happens. I- even though it, it obviously because it's Sato, it 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 ends up in a farce, like. He's like, okay, mm-hmm. yes, I'm going to kill myself. Uh, I, like, uh, you know, he makes up his mind and everything, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't go right. And then he, he has to pathetically uh, crawl his way up, falling back on mm-hmm. his ass multiple times. Times, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I think though that um, the different versions complement each other. If you were, if you are up to it, we could also read the. Um, the manga, it's eight volumes though of a manga. Maybe, maybe that might be too much for you. No, uh, maybe in the future. I'll have to try for sure. Yeah. I give this um, hmm, a nine out of ten. Uh, hmm. Give me a second. Let me check. Um, because a, a long time ago now, um, I wrote a post where I compared uh, the novel to the manga. Um, to the light novel. You want to see, see how it? <laughs> how I scored it? Yeah. Um, and I don't think I, I think I think I I I didn't score score them well um, at all. But let's let's check anyway. Um, because you know it's it's like I said like um, um so, something to do with the expectation set, I guess. Um. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Welcome to the NHK anime in my. Um. Okay. <laughs> you you might want to ha- have a look at it as well. It's uh. I'll send the link there. It's it's kind All of right. shit, but uh, I I think I, I did a good job of uh, showing the contrast. <laughs> I guess. Uh, and uh, by the way, like um, um, I guess I'll share the screen on OBS as well, so that people who see this can see the thing the, the image as well so you know like i i i, I write uh, what has what has this a picture of um, misaki from some pro- promotional art uh, misaki lying around on um surrounded by um you know otaku and gamer paraphernalia whatever you want to call it get stuff uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, what, what has this got to do with this and um so the, the second picture is um uh, so, uh, can, by... you send the, can you send the link on the recording channel? Oh, didn't I post it? No. Okay, let me try again. Uh, oh, I, uh, yeah, I posted in in the wrong channel. Let me post it again. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I posted in the in recording. Um, should be there. Perfect. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you, you can see you probably can see a picture of um, Misaki surrounded surrounded by the. Uh, it's a pretty a fan servicey picture, I would say. That looks like an Xbox. Yeah. That looks yeah. looks a bit like an Xbox um, at the back, uh, and the new type magazine. I know that one. And maybe more a game. Maybe, maybe more a game too. Oh yeah, it could be. I don't know that much about video games. Uh, so, um, and the second second picture of, uh, is of Sato, but it's like, um, so so this is um, this picture is shown when um, when Yamazaki confronts um, because basically after the suicide pact uh, goes to shit, um, um, one of the people at, at uh, a kid basically who also wanted to kill himself. But but I guess was saved by Sato. <laughs> uh, uh, tells him that like s- some people are able to make fun of, of uh, make a living off of uh, MMORPGs um, <laughs> by uh, doing doing uh, RMT real money trading. I mean some people actually are able to like b- basically what they do is uh, sell sell in game items for money, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, so, so that that's why he gets addicted to MMORPGs. Uh, um, a, a, anyhow, like um, you know, like uh, so. Uh, so this is basically what uh, um, what Sato, I guess, pictures himself when uh, Yamazaki <laughs> confronts him at the end after basically deceiving him uh, with the with the uh, with the cat girl. But basically, I don't know. I guess it's called catfishing. Uh, <laughs> Maybe uh, I don't know if it's if it's the right term, but uh, so so let's see. So I said uh, so. This is how he, he imagined. So when Yamazaki says like, uh, imagine, picture yourself uh, like even if you're able to make it, uh, make able to make money off of this somehow. Like uh, imagine imagine yourself living this lifestyle like he, like in your thirties. <laughs> thirties, what you will look like. I I don't know if it if it, if it would be this bad, but yeah. So. So I, I said that the anime version uh, is the best, the light novel is average, the manga is atrocious. Uh, so the reason why I didn't, I didn't like the manga is because I kind of felt like it went too much the other way. So to put it uh, shortly, what happens at the end is that, um, so um, I think Sato moves back with his parents or whatever, but um, he decides to become basically like, like an actual quote unquote creator, uh, you know, mm-hmm. somebody who makes a living um, online by creating whatever articles or something. I imagine some kind of uh, he's some kind of writer, because uh, one of the things which happens in the anime is that um, um, Sato goes to to uh, the to the yayoi uh, animations, um, um, you know, um, school. Yeah, the school and. Um, he finds out that, like, you know, like, uh, Yamazaki is saying all this shit about, like, uh, you know, 2 two days vest and, and whatnot, but um, in, in the anime, anyway, like, he, he ends up going out with a girl, and obviously, uh, Sato is really pissed off, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, because, you know, Imagine. Um, and somehow he ends up in one of the classes, um, in one of the ga- game classes, um, and he writes, uh, he he writes a, a scenario um, for a game or whatever. And mm-hmm. um, b- but then, because of his social autism, uh, he ends up running away, thinking that everyone is is looking looking down on him. But actually, uh, when uh, when the guy who is like um, in charge of the class. Uh, looks at the uh, at the scenario. Uh, he thinks, well, this, this is kind of good, uh, even though there are some problems. Um, um, so yeah, so okay, L- let's see if I give a, re- a rating somewhere. I mean, the, so the line. Yeah, there's like you say, uh, I give this anime a eight out of ten. The manga is a four out of ten, and the line Ooh. novel is a five. Out of 10. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. Um, yeah, that's a bit harsh. Um, and I'll probably have to reread the manga as well because I was wrong about the light novel, so I might be wrong about the manga as well. E- e- even though, as I said, the, um, as I said, basically, I criticized, um, I criticized the manga for the opposite reason that I, that I didn't like the light novel, basically. 
Um, mm. So why didn't I like that? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I didn't like. It. I didn't. I don't actually even give a good reason. I think I didn't like it because, uh, just because it had less things happening essentially. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. Recommendations. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Eva is all right, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's about depression, and so, so I guess it's vaguely, vaguely this relevant, but um. um so I included Genshin and Otaku no Video, um, which um, I think Otaku no Video is probably the better of the two. Uh, I and uh, Fahrenheit already did a stream on Otaku no Video, and it's basically how should I put it? Like like um, like half of it is uh, like an empowerment fantasy about a bunch of otakus. Um, you know, cre like creating uh, this huge company, basically Gynets, because it's made by Gynets. Um, yeah. uh, but uh, so so that's the anime, and it's only two episodes long. But uh, yeah. within the anime, there, there are also like um, live action bits, and the live action bits are of o Otaku, who are actually really pathetic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. At the same time, uh, the live action bits are not real either because because um, apparently, like they were, they just filmed um, random people, like uh, or rather people in in the studio, but with mosaics and whatnot. Like like for example, they will show an otaku which is uh, addicted to uh, visual novels, um, or or another one which has like uh, thirty different vi video recorders. Um, Mm -hmm. And another one uh, who is pretending not to be an otaku anymore <laughs> now that he has a, a job as a computing engineer. So, like, so basically, b both faces are, f are fake. Like, um, so um, I guess it's it's like make up your mind uh, uh, about which is the more real one, um, the more uh, like mm, the more uh, idealized <laughs> one, or like uh, the one that they're making they're making fun of. So they're making fun of themselves and also glorifying themselves at the same time, essentially. Mm. Mm. Um, and then the the other recommend, recommendation post that I've written there is Genshiken. I so I found Genshiken boring, but 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 again, like uh, my taste is I don't know. I I feel like uh, right right now I enjoy a lot a lot more things that I used to than I used to enjoy than I, uh, than I used to enjoy. Uh, so m maybe if I rewatch it, I will enjoy it as well. But I didn't like it the. So, so basically, it's a slice of life series about about a bunch of otaku, um, of an um, of an anime club in a university, essentially. Um, oh, okay. And I, I guess it's it's sort of like taking the middle way, like like it's not saying that like otaku are like the greatest thing, uh, you know, like the the next step in human evolution or something. <laughs> uh, but, but but it's also not saying that uh, oh, uh, you know, like don't be an otaku. Like if you're an otaku, like you're going to end up uh, like Sato or whatever. Uh, um, I yeah, I, I guess another thing which is I guess quote unquote controversial about this series series, um, you know, both the novel and and the anime, um, is that um, you know, like. There are a lot of like people who are who are into the into the hobby who like uh, who like the novel, but um, uh, there are also others. Um, I guess I guess more the the more casual uh, audience who th who think that the message of of the novel and, and everything is like um, saying like uh, this stuff is danger dangerous. Uh, stay away from it all. Uh, you will end up uh, with like like Sato like like I like I had this argument uh, with um, <laughs> with uh, Kino on on our server and um, also with Paz as well um, who both who both like <laughs> welcome to the NHK I, I don't know if Kino has read the novel as well but he he has watched I think he has I think he has read the novel as well. Um, certainly Paz has, uh, so, you know, people listening to this, well, fortunately, fortunately there's no one, but, uh, they, they probably won't have any idea what the fuck you're talking about, but, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, is there anything else to talk about? We talked about, um, Sasho, 
Um, like, yeah, I, I, I like uh, but before we, before I started this stream, I, w I was kind of thinking of um, how we were going to structure it or something. I think the the way that we went uh, went about it was all right, but uh, I was thinking of maybe going character by character because like there are like only four relevant characters. Um, so mm -hmm. you know, I've been talking for a while, so. Um, let, let's do it this way. Um, let's talk. Uh, uh, I'll tell you a character's name, and then you tell me what you think about them, and then you'll see if it will go anywhere. And then, after we have gone <laughs> through the through the characters, uh, um, let's call it call it a day. I think the the problem uh, which happened th this time was probably that um, I, you know, uh, I I had too many things I wanted to say, so I didn't give enough time for you and. Uh, for no, um to say stuff. So let's start with um, uh, Sa uh, Sato. Yeah, why not? Uh, what is your take on his character? Um, did you Sato like him? Is a very, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a very realized character. I like the fact that he's very, um, he's very flawed, but he seems to know to know and understand that many of the, of these flaws are his own making. He tries to cope a little bit with the idea that there is a conspiracy, but even he seems to slowly stop believing in it. And throughout the story, you can see as some uh, he proves that it's better than he thinks he is. After all, he's able to do things that even um, other characters are unable to do. And he prevents a suicide. So, in some regards, he's right about his own flaws. In other regards, he seems to underestimate himself. So, uh, it's a well rounded character with some depth to him. Mm, I guess uh, this is not about a character, but um, on a scale of um, suicidal um, uh, depression, how would you? Uh, rank uh, <laughs> the the di the different uh, wish, uh, the the different uh, the various uh, novel Japanese novels that we have been talking about. I mean, it's sort the of been a theme. Yeah, he doesn't see. He seems to think a lot about suicide, but it doesn't seem like a person who would really go through because he still believes in something somehow. I can, I can sense underground. This character has a has a desire to go on. I see. I I, I was asking more of like uh, this novel compared to the Japanese novel. Yeah, <laughs> I would say it's below. Um, well, absolutely below. No longer you. It's below. Um, uh, I forgot the name of the. Um, uh, no, no, not Kokoro. Um, compared even to the setting son, the brother who commits suicide, it's below. And I would say it's on par with um, the main protagonist from Kokoro. Even if he never talks about suicide, you can feel the same kind of emptiness and the same desire of to escape this life. So he approaches it in a different and more modern way way but i think the two characters both suffer from this sense of lacking of direction hmm. okay so uh yamazaki what did you think of his character i mean there wasn't that much to go on but um what did you think of his character uh he was <laughs> really a, a weird one uh it doesn't seem to uh, it seems to be um a bit of a um, character that does a lot of things out of impulse. He doesn't think much about the consequences of many of his actions. Uh, but is um, very often his heart is not where his words are. So he seems to give up on a lot of ideas yeah, as soon as there is something that goes... Um, I mean, when something else too concrete, he seems to give up hmm. or run away, which is something that he does a few times. 
I mean, to be fair, like, um, he did, um, you know, you know, finish the game, sort of. I mean, the, yeah. end, the ending is not a real ending, but still. <laughs> he, he pre- but many of his actions end up in nothing. In a sense, it's like the bomb, the twin bomb he creates. It blows up with just a lot of noise and some smoke. And yeah, I, I would say he's basically a character with a lot of ambition, but like, um, he doesn't have uh, like uh, the, either the luck or the talent, um, and, or any, yeah. and, the, and the charisma as well, because he can't get along with people. Uh, like, 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 uh, you know, like he did, like uh, when his. Uh, family refused to pay for his uh, fees or whatever. He just uh, did just leave uh, work um, yeah. at um, part time for a, a year or something, and enroll at this college, which even though it's not a serious one, still it's re- related to what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but it uh, doesn't go through at the end. It seems to be giving up. On uh, but, but, yeah, but, but uh, he he it's because he doesn't have a choice because you know uh, he's. He is the head of the family has to and has to go back. I thought. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess he could have just abandoned his family. Uh, exactly. You know. Yeah. Um, I think uh, the problem is that his ambitions are not concrete towards everything, and it's um, and it's more like he seems to dislike the fact that like um, his whole whole life has been planned out of uh, yeah by someone else. else. Yeah. Um, like uh, yeah, it's more clear in the anime, I would say, because like, I I think um, um, he he comes across uh, something which uh, uh, his parents uh, uh, had worked out with, uh, like uh, their accountant or or, or something which uh, some kind of insurance thing, uh, which basically just said like uh, listed out basically like oh what his word is going to be like. Um, th- th- throughout his life, um, and like uh, dep- depending on, and what 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 events uh, which have already been planned uh, into his life um, are going to like like his marriage, um, uh, uh, yeah, like like it's it's all planned out uh, for him, and he doesn't he doesn't like uh, that idea basically. Mm-hmm. Um, so he 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 has a rash ambition because it, like it, it's not like he has like a specific goal in mind like oh i want to be a voice actor or something yeah. um like it's anything i want to create something anything uh because yeah. i don't want to be like uh, those mediocre people or like i want to be someone or uh, something like that i mean it's not such an uncommon theme um, um i think it was there in the in the cabaret film as well or whatever it's called uh with the woman um you know the, the the one with the uh mid-century german uh song uh the future belongs to us or something to me whatever mm. um you, you don't remember that film now okay no. <laughs> um, um so let's see uh so that's that's yamazaki i guess um, as a friend what do you think of yamazaki as a friend uh, it's one of those dangerous friends <laughs> that maybe has good intentions, but because of personal failures and uh, failings, can be very dangerous. Hmm. He drugs, drugs Sato in a lot of weird projects, and often he runs away, which is the really dangerous part. Because if at least uh, he was close to. Or we we'll say he, he he brought this person into this situation, but he stayed he stayed there when <laughs> when it was time. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I, I guess if they were a comedy duo, who would be the straight man? Would it be Sato or Yamazaki? Yeah. It would be Sato, no, right? No. Yeah. Sato. Um. <laughs> okay. What 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 would you th- what do you think about uh, Sato as a friend? I guess why not? Uh, for what is what he does, he too does some bad things. But it seems to at least um come from a genuine attempt to try and do something for Yamazaki. He fails, but his failure seems more due to his own flaws rather than 
because he runs away or because he gets too scared? Mm, I mean, to be fair, I mean, his flow is that he, he gets too scared and he, he ran away from uh, college, essentially, right? Um, yeah, but he, he blames his query on himself. He doesn't seem to just make excuses or something. He says, I did something really stupid and I'm paying the consequences. And because of that, it doesn't involve... Uh, and doesn't involve uh, Yamazaki with, with some way to get back into college, but then run, then running away. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they do to, to an extent lead each other other on. Like uh, you know, y Yamazaki gives him gives him the CP, and then and the next thing, uh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, um, Sato is dragging dragging him out. Um, mm -hmm. Um, I was trying to do it to show the ugliness of what they are doing. So they are, the reason it's trying to do it for a formative reason, as weird and as confused as the movies may be. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, early on we were talking about how like um, the like th this is set in, set in the early two thousands. Uh, a very good example of this is that you know sat, uh, like uh, tabbed browsers are a new thing for Sato. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Yeah, uh, but it, it's easy to miss because of what he's doing, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Um, so I don't think there's much else to say about Yamazaki and Sato. Um, what did you think of uh, Misaki? Has she, has she got best girl potential, or is she, is she just uh, too annoying? Uh, yeah, she's she's one of those persons who. Uh, the problem with her is that she's very manipulative, probably because of the um, of the pain she suffered in the past. But at the same time, she has a very dangerous way of handling her own issues, and that fakeness of which Final was talking is very apparent. It's almost scary in certain points. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, Sato is, I mean, he's he's obviously like a kind of a cowardly fellow, like, um, you know, easily scared by people. But still, mm -hmm. uh, I kind of feel like some of the time, like, uh, uh, he, he does seem kind of scared of uh, Misaki. Uh, yeah, she has a scary, scary aspect to herself. Like, w w w like why, wh what is wrong with this woman? <laughs> Uh, why yes, she, yeah. sometimes she acts in this very, like, um, you can really feel that it's her happiness is fake and it's forced and that there is something wrong with it. Yeah, um, the, the, the reason why I was thinking about that is because um, um, Paz kind of made a, uh, a video uh, a while ago now called, you know, they asked my Misaki, uh, uh, you know, I I think uh, I think I made a response video to that called uh, "They Asked My Yamazaki" because uh, I guess back then I kind of thought that, like uh, at least in the anime anyway uh, version um, which I had in mind, um, that the relationship between Sato and Yamazaki was kind of fun. Um, it ca if you have seen, I don't think you have seen it. Uh, the film Vitnell and I. Um, mm. It's a yeah. It's it's a British comedy film. Um, I did I did two streams on it. One one with uh, Zarathustra Serpent, and another one with um, Tor Agent uh, and me. Uh, I mean Fahrenheit. He, he was called Tor Agent back then, and <laughs> uh, Sig Neozion, who he, who now is called uh, Herac uh, Heraclus, I think. Um, mm -hmm. and so, so, so basically the, the story of it is that, um, briefly is that, so it's about, uh, two, uh, failed actors, um, yeah, again in their twenties, they live in London in, in, uh, in abs absolute filth, um, <laughs> they, they can't get a job and they go to, they go uh, to the country, can't like they they're basically going insane while doing drugs, and it's kind of, it, but it, but it, but, it, but it's all funny, like it's all, all like uh, dark humor, um, and yeah, they go to the countryside, and obviously because they think that uh, 
uh, they need to get some fresh air um, and they're able to uh, go out there by yeah yeah I don't need to discuss that sorry um I don't need to discuss the whole plot but basically they're able to go to the countryside and it's a complete clusterfuck like the place that they, that they go into has no food heating or anything and they don't know how to do anything because now they're in the countryside and the people in the countryside don't seem to like them either because they are basically just a couple of uh, drunks and uh, so but, but, but basically uh, the protagonist is uh, so it's Vitnell and I and the I is the protagonist and he's mm-hmm. he's sort of the straight man um, <laughs> of the two so so it's so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's basically so, yeah it, it's basically um, Vitnell who uh, takes um, the protagonist on this kind of drags the protagonist on this like and it, like he's, he's really um, the uh, Vitnell is re- really selfish but flamboyant and um, um, charismatic in a sense uh, b- because yeah he's a trained actor or something um, but he can't he can't get, get a job um, and like and everything is crummy a lot because uh, here as well this was back during the last decades whatever in Japan um, mm-hmm. but but uh, Vitnell and I I think is set in uh, the 1960s I think it's uh, 1969 or something and um, because that's also that's also the, the theme that like the whole hippie thing or like uh, they're selling hi- hippie wigs um at, at the st- uh, at the su- supermarket so basically like it, it all just failed um that, that that's also there it's um but, but anyhow the point the point is that um uh like 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 it's it's very like obviously what, what they're doing that's that's it's not good for them and and at mm-hmm. the end the pro- the protagonist is able to get away from um from um uh, Vitnell, uh, where 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 Vit- uh, and Vitnell, uh, there's a famous scene where Vitnell at the end, where Vitnell is at the London Zoo. Uh, uh, I think there's a there's a zoo in London, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, you know it, it, it's raining and uh, he's uh, and it's after um, his friend has left uh, the protagonist because of, because the protagonist uh, is able to get a job as a, as an actual actor. Uh, he 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 gets an audition. Um, um for a play or some or something like that anyhow um and i think he he reads uh shakespeare i, I can't I can't remember exactly from where but like uh, you know the i think it's macbeth yeah it's macbeth well uh you know uh, the well you know uh what is a man that you know that that bit um anyhow the the, the point which i should have gotten to uh, five minutes ago is that <laughs> It is that um, it's it's kind of a sad scene. Like you would think that oh, like uh, the protagonist um, is finally getting away from like uh, this crazy guy or who uh, with whom they they basically just lived a degenerate, poor, extremely poor, um, a kind of lifestyle. But like it it was also like a fun adventure, and it, it and it's over. Um, um n- now it's time to be like uh, serious uh, adults or something um and um yeah you, you you kind of get get that with um with um with Yamazaki and Sato as well um at least for Yamazaki like, like it's it's just an adventure because he's able to make it out um mm-hmm. but still um so yeah so so that's why I did um I did a a, re- a response video to to Paz's um um he did a video i can't remember exactly the contents of his video but um i think he talks about how like he doesn't want someone like misaki which of course like who, yeah obviously if you had a choice uh, who would um <laughs> but yeah and, and my response was something like yeah but like uh, uh you know like it's not about misaki actually the more important uh, relationship which uh, Sato has is the one, at least in the anime. I, uh, I feel like um, in in the ma- in the manga, cl- uh, sorry, in the in the novel, cl- clearly the more important relationship is the one with uh, Misaki, of course. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, in the novel, like uh, sorry, in the in the anime, it's uh, it's, it's not as clear. Um, uh, so like, wouldn't it be nice if uh, if like there was this crazy guy who took you to like uh, do some crazy stuff, like that? Uh, at least it wouldn't be boring. <laughs> um, anyhow, I rambled on too much about uh, nothing much. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, there's there's good quotes from. Yeah, <laughs> a, a very lazy thing I used to do, which I don't do anymore, is basically, I would find, uh, you know, you know, to to make uh, the the length of my blog posts or whatever reviews longer. Some people still do it, but I think it's pretty lazy. It is it, to get a bunch of, uh, to get basically all the good quotes which you can get, and t- type them up. Uh, which, um, which in a way is sort of, uh, sort of what we are doing with this video, right? Like we are, we are basically just retelling uh, everything which yeah. was oh, nice. mild, mildly interesting. Um, but I think it's okay because it's a live stream, not not a not something which someone actually has to read. Um, right. yeah. So that's that's the end of my rant. Um. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't bore you uh, too much. No, uh, right. Um, so we talked about Yamazaki. Did we talk about... Did you talk about... I guess we already talked about um, Misaki. What What else is there to say about her? Not, nothing much. So. Oh, I think we explored the character. One of the good things about the character is that not, not too much is said about her. It's more like, again, it's more implied. Yeah, go on. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then the last character, since you said there are four characters, you want to... Um, I guess I guess it's the same pie, but I guess she, she just repre- represents um, the past. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, or something like that. Um, and she I... seems to be, uh, for what little we get of, her, she seems to be a person. Who, um, yeah, she's the past, and she would like to change it a little bit. Hmm. D- did you feel like she was kind of leading uh, the protagonist on? Um, mm, some parts, yeah. There are some parts when probably she is a little. Mm. But 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 I guess the implication is that it's that, that it's it's just that the protagonist didn't take a chance, uh, right? For some reason, oh. probably. Um, okay, so you've already given. I think I think that's probably enough. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, the characters were all of them were in, were not two dimensional. There was always something. Uh, let's say more that would you expect even from what what little were tell we were told about them there was probably something more going on but that's also again something that I like not everything was said out loud some of these things you can sort of infer them by yourself hmm yeah, good. especially about the side characters, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, with, with Misa- Misaki's case as well. Um, yeah, she's one of the one of those who are uh, the least described characters, but maybe that's why also is interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, how she feels. Hmm. I like. Uh, I can't remember that many descriptions of what the characters looked like. Um, no, I don't think they describe. They, I don't think they describe much about. It. They just give a uh, few general, like general traits, but they don't say anything about their their appearance. At least outside, out like looking young or this kind of things. I think uh, uh, the reason why it's. It, 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 I guess I don't know if I would say it's okay, but um, 
it doesn't bother me that much is that like I have the picture of the characters how they look in the anime. Uh, kind oh, okay. of, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, couldn't imagine them any other way. I guess at least Misaki, because um, I mean this is not something unique to um, uh, this novel. I think um, a light novel with a lot of light novels, they are very scarce on descriptions and it's mostly dialogue, and maybe the the protagonist, uh, you know, inner thoughts. Because um, mm. inside the volumes, usually there will be character portraits um, of what the characters look like, and unfortunately, uh. yeah, unfortunately there, there aren't any here. But that's the anime, so yeah. Um, right, and with that said, let's call it today, right? Yeah, well, it seems like we're going to to stop here. So I'd say again, it's worth watching it, uh, reading the the novel. Probably I'll ch- I'll try to watch the anime in the future. However, some of the uh, some of the themes, some of the topics, may be a bit difficult f- for some people, and I could understand that. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, if there is an uh, age rating uh, or something, it would be pretty high. Overrating. Yeah, um, exactly. Even, yeah, I mean, that's no. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, they, they don't go into de- I guess they do go into some detail uh, into describing, like, uh, basically the protagonist finding them cute or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit how it starts to realize how low it's, get, it's, it's getting. It's like, nope, I need to stop myself <laughs> before I get in. <laughs> right. Um uh, and okay, that with that said, let's end the stream. Um thank you for listening, no one uh leave a leave a like. I think so, some somebody left uh, two likes, so whoever it was, thank you. Oh. Um <laughs> and uh, obviously um uh, yeah, it would be nice if that subscribed too, but still, you know, like it, not it's not a thumbs up, it's a you know, in between, but still nice. Thank you. Um, 